Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gary Cast live stream for today's match day against Atletico de Madrid Bay. I'm Nick Bell, leading the pack today, I suppose, but potentially a full house. I've got Matt Harrison and Luke Chambers with me. How are you boys doing? I'm very good. It's um, As you are well aware, Nick, you have spent uh, the last week down here. The weather has turned very, very lovely. Hence, for now, I'm speaking to you from my balcony. Um, I've got flip-flops on for the first time in 2024. Um, yeah, so I'm good. You are absolutely feeling it. And, and Luke, you were briefly out here, uh, but having back in the Costa del Doncaster for the last few days. How are you? Uh, I was feeling fine until I saw Matt out on his balcony and he showed us a beautiful view over the sea. And now I'm a tad bit jealous because we don't really uh, get that. I love I your bottle's awesome. probably a bit bigger than mine, though, Matt. And a giant bottle of Victoria. I've gone surely, for, surely we should call it the Costa del Dom. Well, we've, been, we've been through this, haven't we? Yeah, exactly. There's the, there's a whole section of the Costa del Sol which is actually now claimed by Doncaster oh uh, and not uh, by uh, the Dutch, as has been previously uh, alluded to. But, um, yep. Otherwise, you boys all okay? Looking forward to today's game? Very looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a strange one for me. I counted last night. This is only the second game I've missed in 2024. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, I am looking forward to it. We should win, hopefully. We should win, hopefully, because uh, this is against a team that I hate. And I don't just mean Atletico Madrid. I mean, I hate all B teams. They are absolutely cack. And games against them just feel like friendlies or exhibition matches or just a waste of time. We could be having a coffee. We could be having anything. But, yeah, it, it's awful. Um, but one thing we do have is a man behind the scenes because Alex Ashmore joins us live from wow. not the uh, Metropolitano. Um where, where where are you, Alex? I'm uh, well. I'm in the Estadio Cerro de Espino, and it's safe to say, well, they put us in the press box. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just a bus stop. Um, yeah. But yes, as you can see, the players are out warming up. I've just seen Loren walk past, uh, looking very dapper. The Malaga fans are in fine voice, and well, it's a lovely sunny day, I must say. Alex, first question from me. Um, obviously, we'll talk about the important football stuff shortly, I'm sure. But as a, you know, I think all of us like different football grounds. How's the ground? Okay, is it an interesting stadium? Or it's? I mean, I'll pan round. It's. Look at those floodlights. Floodlights. Look right. <laughs> no stand over there. Okay, that's quite, that was quite nice. That to be fair, though. So. Yeah, it's it definitely does. giving training ground vibes, but you know it's nice. It does the job? I think it's probably I want to say four thousand capacity. Hmm. Do you know how many Malaga is there? Like training ground vibes. It's the fucking yeah. training ground. It's an abomination that we should be playing professional football matches at training grounds. It is pathetic. I hate B teams. Nick, so we're not in professional football. This, this is not professional football. This is why we're here. <laughs> oh, it's just it is. I, I I hate it, and it was going to be a, a a bone that I'm going to repick for you guys. But That's right, it's it's not just stupid that you know you look at this game and you're playing against a team like Atleti. There's other games going on as well which can affect things in the table. I'm not saying that Malaga are going to get a win here. It's not guaranteed, but it's fairly certain, isn't it? Like, or if yeah, we don't, I... a bit. The thing is, I don't want to sound all negative, and I'm neg never negative about Malaga. However, <laughs> a couple of things which I'm sure Alex will back up. These have lost three games in 2024. They're currently eight games unbeaten. They haven't lost at home in the last eight. That loss was a 6-1 loss to Cordoba. However, as much as I agree with you about B teams... <laughs> I don't want to be too harsh before this game kicks off because I'm feeling a bit nervy about this one. No, yeah, I, no, I, I, think, I really don't like them. They're clearly on a good run of form, and well, Malaga, I think eight unbeaten sounds better than it actually is because obviously, you know, two or three of those are wins, the rest are draws. Today could be the day, though, I think, you know, we kick start. Uh, I'm just hopeful that 
you know, we can break their good run of form. And I, I always think when it comes up against B teams like this, the younger lads, the experience that teams like Malaga have always comes out on top, you know. But sometimes the B teams do have their, their runs like these guys are having. So, you know, I think it'll be a tough game, but I'm favouring Malaga. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, it, it's one of those that I'd always ask. What's what's the what's the biggest benefit? And yes, I can see that it gets the youth players some um, experience and some you know proper match game fitness potentially. But let's look at how, how many of these players in Letty B, um, and maybe I'll put this towards you. Alex, have actually moved up into the first team without taking the more obvious route. So, for example, I look at Raquel May. We watched him a couple of seasons ago at Mirandes, and look how well he's performing now. Did he have the benefit, and is he the player he is now because he played for Atleti B in Primera for a few years, or is it that he went to Segunda and played competitively with Mirandes and did it that way? Surely taking up a spot for another proper football team is, is the problem with this. I completely agree. I, you know, I couldn't. I, I think obviously there's an importance to giving young lads playing time, but play B teams against other B teams, it feels a bit, you know, cheating. Like you said, taking a spot of a team that could be there, and then some young lads that play for, you know, for example, just picking out off the top of my head, when Racing de Ferrol were down here, you know, they were there, but they could have had their spot taken by a Real Madrid B or a Atleti B. So. I feel like there should be a separate league like we have in the Premier League for those for those teams. And my, yeah. My thing with B teams is um like obviously this this is not a new thing. This has gone on for properly Um I'd generally be curious to know if anyone has ever sort of done a, like a study in gone right. How has this benefited? Because obviously it's meant to benefit young players in Spain and I guess you know, funnel towards the national team. Like, I'd be genuinely curious to know, like, how many, like, you, pretty much what you just asked, Nick, but on a bigger scale, how many, like, B team players have gone into that national team? Or, or you know, not, not just B team players, B team players that have played in the third and fourth division regularly and how it's benefited them. Because because my feeling and for what I've read is probably not. <laughs> I don't think, like... Um, because usually, if they're good enough, and even in the big teams, they go, they go straight into the first team. It's, um, yeah. Like for yeah. example, I'm going to see Diego Brie play for Spain in the next few years. Um, my feeling is probably not. No, no, exactly. Well, away from the B team chat, um, I think it was you, Luke, who put on our. I'll Twitter just pan you around to the lads going off quickly. Okay. Hi, the lads. And away they go. Cheers, lads. Away they go through there. Why well, I assume there's a caravan behind <laughs> that uh, <laughs> behind that tarpaulin that they put out of that end. But um, away from the football, then you know, Cordoba losing um, to Alcoyano yesterday. That's a, a, a big upset. That's the first game that I think Cordoba have lost in a, in in a very long time. Kind of abruptly halts them. Castellon play this afternoon. Um, are we kind of? In limbo at the at the minute, boys. Are we are we kind of like, well, you know, we don't we're not going to catch them now, are we? It's nine points with twenty one to play for. Am I more looking over my shoulder than I am looking ahead of it at the moment? I don't know. I don't know. How I, think, I, I we, would say. Yeah. Sorry, go on. we definitely we definitely are, Nick. I mean, even based on today's results, Sueta, uh, Seuta won four nil, uh, Mercia won two nil. So basically, that puts us five points again uh, above Ceuta. And we are currently only eight points above Murthia, which sounds a lot. But bearing in mind we play Murthia next week, mm. we we need points today. And then next week is one hundred percent a uh, a must win game. Yeah, I think um, I think Luke like put it in our WhatsApp group this week, like asking about uh, what's the update on the bus to Cordoba. And I think the reason there's not much of an update is because nobody's in much of a hurry now because it feels a bit of a like a dead game, not you know, not dead, obviously, because like you guys just said, we're looking over our shoulders a bit. But I think if we'd got maybe another four to six points, this Cordoba game would be just talked about all over social media and would have been like, I think there would be an absolute, it'd be like that bloody 
um, anniversary shirt, people will be scrambling to get tickets. Mm. Uh, and now it just doesn't feel like that's the case. Um, that's so, probably more yeah. that the, to the kickoff time where uh, you saw the picture that David Picon shared where everyone's up in the shade. <laughs> no one sat yeah. around the edge of the pitch because it's going to be bloody uh, boiling, probably like I say, it's been oh, getting really right. toasty down there, hasn't it, Matt? Yeah, and Cordoba in particular is like, uh, you know, it, it's far enough inland. It, it, I, I'd imagine it must be one of the hottest places hottest, in Spain yeah. in the summer. Like, obviously, you've got Seville. Um, yeah, that, that, because like the, the balcony I'm recording from right now, the reason I don't live here in the summer is because my landlady and her husband, they move here from Cordoba in the summer because it's too hot in Cordoba so uh yeah no, I, can um, I, I went to Setinal and to Ronda last Wednesday because I've been around very, very warm <laughs> um how was Setinal de las was it de las bodegas isn't it de las bodegas uh yeah. definitely worth a visit um quite small it, yeah so it, it, it it's not too far past runner about 20 mm. kilometers something like that but it's even less than that because I've looked again a taxi from Ronda there before and Mm. It, it's worth it though, uh, mainly just for how it, it's cheap as well. That's the other thing. I was expecting to go there. It'd be like it's a tourist destination. You know, people are going to be well, they're going to be charging through the nose. Really reasonably priced. Town, it's always yeah. There's another town nearby as well. I'd like to go to, but I forgot which town it is. But it's sort of between those two. But uh, yeah, is uh, it is it the Sedesa de Baracos or something like that? The the town with the waterfalls because we were going to do that one as well. Ooh. Oh, it's not a town with the waterfalls. That sounds really cool. I'll look into that yeah. as well. <laughs> That'll be um, on our other podcast. The, the, yeah. <laughs> the welcome to the Costa del Sol podcast. But, uh, <laughs> Alex, but yeah, as, as Luke says, anyone who's listening, if you've got any questions for Alex whilst whilst he's with us, Alex, you're going to be reporting during this game and showing us the the Malaga fans uh, from the press box. I assume is there many Malaga fans there at the minute? Yeah, I think there's. I could safely say at least. 300 i think around that very good to know. Safe number they all seem to be filtering in so there might be more coming in from the outside we've got as you can see over there we've got that section and then we've got the one over there so that's a great thing you know, most to be honest there's more malaga fans i think than home fans um but there's not many home fans there's maybe a hundred it's hard to tell but yeah it, they're, they're the ones making all the noise and Hopefully, that should spur us on to, to get the three points. Alex, it's currently showing you on the telly that it's 27 degrees up in Madrid. Does that feel about right? It, it is warm. I'm wearing a shirt and trousers, and it is warm. Um, <laughs> but I'd rather it be 27 than raining. So, yeah. yeah. Um, a smart dresser for the football is Alex Dashmore. Very, well. very smart dresser. Very smart dresser for the football. Thank you. Um, looks like he should be going to Wimbledon. Well, more, more, more than <laughs> uh, watching Athletic Bay, but he's looking good for it. But uh, so, well, I, I've not put the team up or anything yet because, to be honest, as I've not seen it, I've just come back from visiting my granddad in the hostel. So, mm. any surprises <laughs> that you can tell me about? Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, we right. had a surprise. We think we had a fucking team, yeah. We thought we had a surprise when. We got the team sheet and Victor was playing centre midfield and Danny Lorenzo at left back. But mm. I assume that's a bit the opposite way around. No. And but, it also um, Alex, like, do, you, yeah, do you know anything in terms of... Yeah, I mean, from what I've seen of the team, I think it's fairly normal. Obviously, the only on the bench, Roberto starting. I think a safe team. Uh, hopefully enough to get the job it's done. Great. I just think it is a safe team. I think it's quite out there. I when think I say safe, sorry, I mean like, you know, probably a, a safe bet in terms of our strongest team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think Danny Lorenzo, Kevin and La Rubia behind Roberto, that, that's, that's great fun, I think. Do you, I think do you, you guys, guys think at any good. point during the game you could see like a bit of a diamond with Kevin pushing more forward with Roberto on the counter-attack, maybe? La Rubia dropping in as a 10? Maybe, yeah. Uh, possibly. possibly. Of, I, I think it in will... In terms of it'll, let's go, Alex... Uh, yeah, go on, Luke. Uh, no, in terms of Atletico, do you know anything about the team regarding the front three more than anything? I, I don't know too much, to be honest. I, you know, don't... Uh, obviously, I've seen that they've been one of the top scorers in the division this season, and they're, you know, not in the playoffs. So, you know, it, it obviously is 
something that works for them. It's that, that strike partnership or the, the strike forward team that they have. Here's Sergio Pace there just coming out of the tunnel. I don't know if you can see Hello, him. Sergio. Hola, Sergio. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, it obviously is something that they've leaned towards this season and maybe something that defensively they've not been able to match. So, yeah, I think something that Malaga can be wary of. Also, I think hopefully with the defensive record that they have not being the strongest in the league. And Malaga, I think, still, am I right in saying we're the best defence in the league in terms of we are. number? So, we are. yeah, I think, you know, something that we can lean on today, hopefully, but I think we've got to be wary of their attack. I mean, with the, regarding their full three... Go on, Matt, sorry. I was going to say, I suppose we should mention as well, I don't know if there's still an injury to him, but in regards to the starting 11, uh, Juan Dez kept his place, which obviously he was excellent last week. Um, I don't know if Ayanar is still not in the team. Them. Yeah, still not in the team. Okay. Interestingly, Mario dropped out. Well, I, I thought I had a, a decent game, to be fair. Mm. Yeah, yeah, maybe not as as Victor. Yeah, true, true. Ferrero is the one for me as well. Like, um, yes, the, one. the fact that he's not like, is again looking at being a B team, thinking, Well, do we need to play him? Is it better to play, yeah. you no, know, look, get La Rubia up to speed maybe a bit more and, and play him out? But it, it's certainly a, an interesting looking sort of supporting three for um, for Roberto. And dare I say, an all Atletico Malagueno forward line with Alberto, Kevin, La Rubia, and Danny Lorenzo. Again, quite exciting to see. I think that's very much what we've been about this season. The the youth intake of Malaga coming through. I, I get excited every time I see it. It regularly disappoints me, but I get very excited for it. Yeah, I do love David I think he had his best game last week. Um, not like bad enough that he should be dropped or anything like that, but maybe it is worth giving him a rest. You know, I'm a, I'm a fellow 30. Oh, no, sorry, he's just turned 36. Um, I'm 35. I'm, I'm a young man compared to him, but uh, yeah, if, I can imagine. If Alex imagine. pans to the right a little bit, is Alex's doppelganger sat four seats away from him? Just, just pan to the <laughs> right a little bit, Alex, if you can hear us. <laughs> That's Alex. <laughs> it's not him, but you know he's close, isn't he? Let, let, let us see again. I want. I need to see this because it looks like your twin. There. Do you see? Him? <laughs> keep going. Keep going right. Keep going right. Turn right Sat a bit, Alex. Where was you? No, you're going left. That's <laughs> on your boat. Keep going. Keep it's hard because I'm, I'm holding oh, the, the guy camera. Sat down. The, the guy sat down. You can see him. He's wearing I'm the holding same the camera the other way around, so my right is different to your right. So in my head, but I think you mean like this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Alex! <laughs> no, nah, he's a midget. He's only, he's only six foot seven. <laughs> As you may be able to hear, the fans are in well, fine voice. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can. Yeah, yeah, we can. Dare I say they were singing so loud they were inter interrupting some of our conversation, which was good. <laughs> <laughs> you were. To be fair, Alex, where is the uh, Giri Cast mic? That's that's I what was we need to the Giri Cast mic is here. I hope Slight we see problem. it. Chris didn't tell me what his headphones are called, so I can't connect them to my phone, and I can't use this when it's connected to my phone because I can't hear anything. <laughs> we just we just want you to we just want to see you with it. <laughs> yeah, just to show so there it is. <laughs> Oh, and, and then last but not least, later than ever. Oh, he, he, he's not even at home to watch the game. But here is Chris Marquez, who just wants to tune in. Hello, Chris. Hello. Everybody, that is what Chris Marquez still looks like. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I will present myself Chris? to everyone. My name is Chris Marquez. And I'm used to be a member of the Geary Cup. No, I'm still him. <laughs> are you watching the game, Chris, or are you just wandering around enjoying the sunshine? I uh, have some family issues today, uh, but I will secretly watch the game. I will let uh, you guys enjoy the game so that I don't spoil anything too soon for you because we've just kicked off. Yeah, we haven't yet. <laughs> Thank you very much, that's Alex Ashley. All right, I'll speak to you in a bit. I'm off, I'm off. So can I have predictions? 
Go for it. Or did we do predictions already? I've gone for it. I've yeah, gone okay. for 2-1, two, two, Roberto and Kevin. I'm going 2-0. No. I'm going 3-0. No. Where are you, Chris? And I think we're wearing the, the lime shirt. We always do better in the lime shirt. I'm, I'm in my street now. Yeah, we didn't wear the, uh, the green and purple one quite often this season. No, we, we do better in the lime. Yeah, I totally agree. So yeah, I'm oh, uh, back home. Just, just uh, getting ready uh, to face down on the screen. Out. Looking so good. Looking very suave as usual today. Maybe not the colours. No, maybe not the colours I go for on a 27 degree heat kind of day. No. I yeah. wish you all a good match and vamos Malaga. Vamos. Vamos, Chris. Chris Marquez. We'll see you soon. Vamos. Guys, I know we quickly yeah. spoke about it with Alex, but that, that looks a great turnout from Malaga. Yeah, really yeah, really, really. There is a... a Am I right in thinking that there is a Madrid Peña? Yeah, yeah. There is, yeah. They, they're the guys that hooked me up with that guy that I met in Alcayano that loves Pacharan, because one of them, he was their cousin. So they were like, you've got to meet this guy that loves Pacharan because you love Pacharan too. Um so we drank Patron and Alcayana. Nice. That that nice. Strangely close to the road is Atletico Madrid's training ground. I thought it'd be a bit more like secluded. Let me just be clear, by the way. This is not the training ground. This is the, the home is stadium Rayo, of Rayo Mach. Yeah. Oh, is that the case? Is so it? Oh, it's I a, thought it was yeah. that their training ground. Well, ob obviously they have lots of Atleti sort of um, insignia around because... It's their training ground as well. Well, so I don't even is, think is it's their training ground. Is this potentially so like on the outskirts of the training ground? Because when they came out, their tunnel was like a gate. And we you could played see them the in the cup. Be the pitch behind. We played them in the cup last season. Didn't they? they knocked us out of the cup. Yeah, we, played, yeah, we I, did play. The, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. I, I no, just no, remember. Was it gymnastique? I think it was gymnastique last season. Last season. It was the season no, before last that we, we played them. Yeah. But no, I remember right. him saying that, oh, we're playing at Atleti Bay's, uh, Atletico Madrid's training ground. I, I just always assumed that was the case. Mm -hmm. I think it's a bit like when, I uh, uh, quite niche here, when I used to go watch Hyde play sometimes, that whole ground's covered in Manchester City uh, badges because Manchester City used it as like a, a second home, which I don't think they do anymore since obviously they've got the Etihad campus. But, uh, yeah, I remember it being a bit weird watching Hyde surrounded yeah, by Yeah, the badges everywhere. A bit, a bit like with um, AFC Wilmerdon's ground used to be like that as well, didn't it? Their old one. Yeah, yeah. They, they used Chelsea. to have stuff all over it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I, I went there and there was Chelsea stuff all over it. One thing I can say, guys, is that this pitch looks an absolute carpet, by the way. It does look lovely. I was just thinking really, exactly really the same really thing. Now. I tell you what, I did Lucky see for the first did. time yesterday, just by chance, uh, was the Malaga mm. training ground from. Mm. Oh, here we go. Mm. Looks good. Good effort, guys. Look, minute check. Go. Minute check. <laughs> I'm on three forty. Okay, I'm three uh, Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah, Nick, I was said that. Spinny circle of death. I've been spinny circle to death a couple of times now. So you might need to describe things to me like I'm. Um, a decent yeah. shot from Lanubi at about 25 yards out, but way over the top. <laughs> you were saying about the training ground, Nick. Was that the first time you've seen it from the road? In person, yeah. So I drove past it on my way into Malaga yesterday and it looks really, really smart. Mm. Like, I, I, again, I thought it would be more secluded than that. Mm. But it's literally it's quite right like, there, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's quite quaint, isn't it? I think, like I, I said, it's small, but I mean, in like a, it's, it sort of looks like it's like tucked away between the road and the, the beach. I guess it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is very yeah. Malaga as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when we when we go in July, with the hotel where we stay is probably about about two miles from there, and we've walked to Plaza Mayor, so we're thinking we're going to try and get kind of close to the training grounds, have a little look at it. Laura's idea, not mine. Obviously. Luke's going to break into the training ground. Obviously. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll make some Geary Cup news. <laughs> Let's get some news. <laughs> well, I'm on 4.49 now. And um, mm. 
Mick Mick checks, 10 seconds yeah. behind Mr. Bell. Is the old Lancashire Wi-Fi not working today? Oh, no, no idea. No idea. Is the laptop still in Costa del Sol mode? <laughs> I, I very much am in Costa del Sol mode. I am absolutely knackered. I got back in about four o'clock this morning. So, <laughs> yeah. Just look at that lovely sea of blue. Well, something so, I'm, I'm really surprised. Obviously, we spoke about the other day a couple of the Peñas was cancelling the trips, and this is a great little turnout for this for this game, like we said before. Yeah, better me out. They, they had they had it at uh, I think it was like 75 euros for ticket and there and back, and then about a week later oh. they said, "Yep, we got that wrong. Let, let's let's put it down to 60." So um, <laughs> I think those. Oh, there you go. They're still marching in. Look. Oh, there we go. Well, the one thing I'm noticing here that I haven't noticed much of before is the um, flags. The no shirt culture. I thought yeah. that was strictly a, a, a an English slash Newcastle thing, but it's a lot I suppose of, uh, when it's 27 uh, degrees, Nick, it, um, oh, <laughs> it changes yeah. it a bit. <laughs> I have been to Malaga games where there's no shirts. Just, just, oh. just in Castillo, I think at the start of the season, even when it'd been raining, I seem to remember lots of people. Shirts off by half time because it was so like sweltering really hot. I think that's what it'll be because I think the difference with say, if you was to have twenty seven degrees in Malaga compared to twenty seven degrees in Madrid is that is that lack of a breeze sometimes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, even it's, here now it's actually quite cool. There is still like a nice sea breeze coming here. I've even got my hoodie on the chair in front of me just in case the breeze picks up. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you would not, not, not laugh in the UK anymore. <laughs> no. Matt comes back to the UK in like a snowsuit. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been with my mate Gibbo this week. I did almost text him like we were meeting down the port on Thursday night. And I almost started, I started sending a message. I'd bring a jacket if I was you because it can't get a bit windy down there. And it's like 25 degrees. And then it, I was like, it, oh, no, that's that's." <laughs> I can I can agree. It was windy on Thursday down in the, uh, in, in Marbella, or unusually. Um <laughs> I was prepared. I brought myself a little jacket as well, so not all bad. Always have a jacket. Now you come forward, Roberto. Oof. To be honest, on the Monday when we flew back, it was it was very windy down the Tormelino end. No, down your end. Down, 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 down Holland's end. Yeah, down in Luton, end, <laughs> as it's now called. <laughs> Just for a bit of context, there's been there has been discussions in the group chat this week about. <laughs> Sovereignty of boys, oh, my boys. <laughs> but we did get pictures, many pictures that indeed the Dutch do like like Rajuela, apparently. <laughs> they do, they do. Oh, we've got a corner for uh for, for Malaga here. Swung Make in <laughs> that way. Come on, Nick, you need to get this Wi-Fi working, dude. <laughs> oh, is it is yeah, that I'll tell you what, I'm what happens if you <laughs> Oh, I'm not Me. up to the full end, too fair. Mine's <laughs> buffering towards the end. I'm going to keep clicking go forward 10 seconds, and hopefully it'll put me in the future ahead of you guys. I think this game this game started off with a decent tempo to it. Yeah, yeah. You can see that Atleti that's play cool. good football, and I think that stems from the, 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 the culture of it as well at the minute with the, the way that teams under the first team play. You know, having that same pattern and rhythm as the first team so you can seamlessly move up um, the squads if you need to. So it doesn't surprise me that, you know, Atleti be playing a successful way, given how successful the first team are. But it, ju it just gets me that, you know, you, you could go out on loan to somewhere like Malaga or like Mirandes and get some proper experience rather than, rather than this in front of, like Alex said, yeah. 200 Atleti fans who aren't really there to watch them play they're there just maybe for something to do perfect example carlos puga well oh, yeah, kevin, yeah please, exactly. kevin drive oh what a nice catch that was Ooh. oh oh sorry oh. Nathan. <laughs> i feel like i'm ahead now <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> i'm on 9 38 it was just then i've got a replay yeah that's why i'm I can't if i told you it might have been the Linares game or maybe the game before where um, I've, I must have had like alerts on my phone for the Malaga score. 
So I thought, oh, I better knock these off. This. And I thought, stadium, you, you dickhead. I remember this. <laughs> I don't want to see things from the future whilst I'm here. <laughs> I'm living in the present. It's like the minority report. No, absolutely. Well, if you uh, got any thoughts on this game so far, any thoughts on B teams as well? Is what I'm, I'm, I'm looking to build a, uh, a contingent of thought around B teams. Get your uh, comments into the comment section. We'll read them out and we'll have a good old discussion uh, about them as well, I'm, I'm not really picking anyone out for Atleti B at the minute who looks quite kind of, but this number six um, with the bright yellow boots, he, he looks quite a tidy player so far. Is that is the he, older he, midfielder? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. G Gitmer, I think he's called. I Just remember um, in the home game, and I think he's I think he might have been the guy that scored as well, that Diego Brie was quite good. No, I think he's number seven here. Um, yeah, yeah, he, he is, was quite yeah. a like I say, the interesting thing with these guys is the front three have got 10 goals, 9 goals and 8 goals between them. And then you oh, put wow. like, on, you look at our, our front three, front five, whatever do, we've basically only got Roberto who's actually scored. Mm. Well, he's hitting decent numbers as well, to be fair. Yeah. Is he on do, uh, I can't remember if he is. Uh, or... Seven, I think he's on seven. Not ideal return for the league's record goal scorer this season, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> I mean, he has played off like as, as a right back. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. In, in the pace, uh, message. makes you miss the days of Pablo Chavria. I wonder what he's up to nowadays. Oh, yeah, you know, he's playing for his hometown club, which I think is nice. He's playing for Belgrano. I was going to say, I remember it being Belgrano, like, playing play lovely blue. As well, don't they? Well played. Go on, Kevin. Get at him. Yeah, like oh, 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 Kevin. Go on, Kevin. Go on, Kevin. Oh, Kevin's up for it. This Kevin afternoon. looking very lively. Oh. Bit, bit, a bit of a flash from Matt there. Hey, calm Kevin down, there Kevin. Goes. Calm down. Over the lads. <laughs> As Matt leaves the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just hot on the balcony anymore, is it, Matt? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> no, I think that's where Kevin, Kevin's at his best, though, when he's, he's direct. Well, he, he did that a lot in the game against Sayuta as well, to be fair. And I was, I was impressed with how direct he was. And even a couple of efforts so far in this game, he's 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 taken it to the right back, hasn't he? And he's yeah. driven at him. And yeah. that's what you want to see from Kevin. That's the exciting Kevin that we, we know and love. Yeah, yeah. Just as you mentioned about Sayuta yeah, and fresh out of the Costa del Sol, Nick. Matt Butler, afternoon, lads. Afternoon, Matt. Who in, he kept saying how much he enjoyed last week. His first, his first patch run. I think he was so excited for the patch run. But weirdly, the club now, shop let's be clear as well, sorry. Not only his first patch run, he paid for them all. Yeah. <laughs> that right for that, Matt. <laughs> which you are welcome he's, anytime. Which means he's invited back, Matt. Well done. You, you, you're, you're allowed to come back whenever you want now. <laughs> well, Matt, Matt, what did you think of the patch run? Please let us know. I think you should, I'm sure you said last week, but um, it's a bit hit and miss for everybody, isn't it? I personally, I like it. I don't mind it. You drink it in one go. That's the thing that gets me. It's like yeah, I know. And it's just something what I can't sip for some reason. I don't think. I, I, I don't think anyone. Like I can't remember anyone coming over and being like, "Oh, this is disgusting." I think everyone Laura. Likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. can, I can, I can drink it. But like, if I if I was to have my choice, if you were to say to me at the bar, "What would you like?" Nick? And it wouldn't be my go-to, that makes sense. I know oh, what you would say. say. If someone was at Bar of Manos and says, Nick, what do you want? You'd say, Alban Degas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But to be fair, I felt very, very... I don't want to throw out accusations um, or anything, but the two days after the Malaga game, I was not very, very well. <laughs> <Without> my... <laughs> I couldn't keep my food down. Anything so, to do uh, with the booze? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure which one. <laughs> but well, as, I, yeah. as I put in our WhatsApp group, even I, the guy that brags about not getting hangovers, was quite hungover Monday in work. It was quite, it was quite a struggle actually. It's mm. not used to it. Saturday was a very I strong had... night, though. <laughs> Saturday was a very well. Strong night. I've, been, I've been out since I finished work five o'clock on Friday, and pretty much had been out from six o'clock Friday. Very little sleep. Um, yeah. The phone so, was real. 
by the way, for a, man, the, for, for a man who's probably had several heavy sessions out in Eastern European and stuff like that, he has one Doncaster Dundee night out on the karaoke and uh, it finishes him off. Breaks him. He Manuel, breaks him. Well, let, let's be clear, I was not finished off. <laughs> um, I should say, by the way, in The Guardian today, or sorry, The Observer, because it's a Sunday, there is an article, they do an article every week of a Sunday with, and then a celebrity, who is today's celebrity? Uh, any any guesses? It's relevant. Uh, Antonio Banderas. <laughs> no, it is a Sunday with Eddie Grant. <laughs> hey, the boy. <laughs> <laughs> The man if we, get, the if down. we get promoted, I will stand with a little jukebox outside Bahamano singing. We're going to rock down to. <laughs> and then give the golden microphone to Matt where he can take the show. <laughs> We're going to rock down to La Liga High Promotion 2. <laughs> hey, that works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> that works. I, know, I, I suppose it's got to be we're going to rock up to. Rock up to. Not going to. La Liga <laughs> High Promotion 2. <laughs> Because we are going higher. See, that's why I like to see Matt, Matt Butler is put. He must have enjoyed it that much. Planning to get back out there before the yeah, end of the season. I don't mind the song. I don't mind the song. I've got no issue with the song. It's not a karaoke song. Though. Especially I'm for I'm always taken to it. I don't know why. I mean, it's not really, you don't really need the voice. <laughs> You've just got to play the crowd. Yeah. And the, the hen party on the side like was a... Uh, they really helped. <laughs> I, I just need yeah. uh, to be fair i i do i do and i don't want to go on a tara Molina's night out with you Luke, because i think okay. one of the fun is what i do secondly i don't think i'll be able to handle it <laughs> but also I you would, think you'd love the microphone nick i think you would love the microphone once you get oh, up there don't get wrong love the karaoke and i've got them all lined up here ready to go but the the shade of you on sunday <laughs> that's the shade you've got to say <laughs> the thing we've missed out on is that um, I can't even remember why we left, but Paul was, you know, he was lined up on karaoke. We never saw his yeah. karaoke. No. We could have missed a, a magician at work there. Um, the, the, the thing is about that night is I don't think any of us realised what time it was until we saw no. the Barra Benza staff coming into CJ's after Barra Benza had shut. <laughs> And then, I mean, we've, well, we've been in Barra Benza at half two in the morning. So then you start thinking <laughs> it's, it's late. When I told Paul I wanted to go. I think the whole karaoke thing started from I told Paul, I want to go back to Torremolinos by 10 p.m. Yeah, you did. And he yeah. said, what are you going to do there? He said, well, I remember last time I was there, there was this really fun karaoke bar. And he said, I'll take you to karaoke here. And then there was no sort of discussion. We were just sort of whisked away. It just happened. You were there. <laughs> I think I've just seen uh, Pei Sir do his, his Sam Allardyce Chico Flores moment there. Seemed to be laughing yeah, at the, yeah. the, uh, the Atleti B player. I don't like that moment. I like Chico Flores. Now, that's a great <laughs> comment, Nick. That is a great comment. The last one. Let me find one. One thing through. <clears throat> From our friends over at La, Ros La Rosaleda fans. Hi, Laura. So the fans. You got them, guys. You got them. I've handed out your fanzine to the tavern in Marbella. There's one behind the bar. I did wonder. I was, I was, when I was looking at these, I was thinking, where's that, the Geary Cast one? And then I realised it's the fifth edition. But if you are listening, guys, I'm still not happy with the headline of It's Coming Home. I'm still, I'm still <laughs> thinking about it. No, I get. I gave mine to Luke because I know he likes things like that. that. Well. I, I, I was a good, a good Giri Cast host. I, I handed over. Well, well, I had two, so I give one to the tavern. And... So th this one's really cool, Nick. By the way, I with the history, that. I want it back then. Give it back. Really cool. <laughs> I'll have it back. Then. The last one. Post it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just going back to the comments, there, guys. Obviously, like we were saying with Matt Butler, first time, love day, etc. He's planning to get back out before the end of the ooh, season. Ooh, he enjoyed ooh, it that much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we said about Atletico looking very dangerous up top. They've been maybe the best green. team so far. He's been yeah, really and... dangerous, hasn't he? Which Alfonso Herrera do we prefer? The the all black kit or the, the sparkling pink kit? Which uh, obviously I've got oh, right pink. now. The pink kit. 
Yeah, yeah. Sparkling pink every time. I know he's not. The, I know he's not the biggest of goalkeepers, but does he wear extra extra large shorts? Do you think? Like they look very very long to me, <laughs> or is it the pulled up socks? I don't. Th- do, do, you know what? I'm sad not to see him yeah, wear anyone. Did you see the other goalkeeper kit for the 120th anniversary game? I only so saw the red one. There was a red one, but there was also a green one, which had the arrows going Ooh. diagonally. I'll see if I can find it and I'll put it in the oh, WhatsApp. That nice. It looked, dare I say, better than the red one. See, I'm never a fan of a goalkeeper with white shorts and socks, but that looked fantastic in the stadium, I thought. There you go. The guys, the guys from um, Ros- La, 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 La Rosaleda fans have invited me for a patch around to make up for the headline. I'll, I'll take you up on that invite, definitely. Um, All you need to do with Matt Harris or, is offer the, offer the patch around. <laughs> or the next time you write an article about us, you've titled it Amo or Heed or something like that. Something that's about <laughs> Welsh heritage. I'm only joking. I wasn't that upset. <laughs> I was upset. <laughs> always always good to be uh, a part of it as well. And to be fair, to, just speaking of Atletico Madrid, I was in Malaga last night and uh, I went for... A uh, drink at um, Los Gatos, and there's a little uh, Atletico Madrid shrine in there next to a giant bull's head as well. But um, you can see they've got appeal beyond the city of Madrid. They're, 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 they're like I said, the club themselves are actually really, really cool, aren't they? Um, yeah. If I was to say to you, out of all the Madrid clubs, guys, which one, which one do you like? Come on. Come on, there's only one, isn't there? So Rayo, Rayo are the cool ones. I know, it's a tricky one, that. It's really... I, right, like so I'll say this. Before this season, I liked what Getafe did for the shit shithousery. Then this Me season, too. they went into ultra shit shithousery, so they've, like, gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really... Good good. Themselves is what you're trying to say. Yeah, I mean... Well, I, I like Super Pepino. I don't like Real Madrid, yes. but I like Champions League Real Madrid. I don't know, there's just something about Champions League nights in the Bernabeu. Weirdly, I, like... I hate Real Madrid. I, I sort of agree with you there. There is something mm-hmm. quite... Yeah. No, the, the new uh, Bernabeu has been ruined for me ever so slightly. Because someone has taken like a drone picture of it from an angle and they said... They've ruined the stadium. They've made it look like an air fryer. And it does kind of look like an air fryer. <laughs> it's like, oh, you bastard. It all looks nice and that, but it does look like an air fryer. I wonder what Alex has got. I mean, we're mocking Alex's, uh, Alex's home about calling it an air fryer. He's been watching Atleti more recently. He's the ultimate half and half scarf man. We should say as well, like, obviously, we, we talk a lot about kits and stuff on our podcasts and on these live streams and stuff. Like, Atleti's kits are always, like, superb. I love yeah. the sort of red and white and blue shorts combo. It's really quite unique and um, it's cool, I think. Can you remember well, a few seasons ago when they, they changed the sponsor every game to, was, was it a film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fernando Torres in the Spider-Man shirt. And Hellboy. <laughs> I mean, if anybody's wondering why we're talking, and there were hit shows. Hit. There were well, I'll, I'll I'll tell you about my uh, naivety um, around, especially around Rio Vallecano. So, I'm with you, Matt. I I very much like them. I, I don't agree with them, you know, their methods. Sometimes I think the fact that they cheap out so oh, yeah, much reminds me very much as um, thing. But the club themselves are really, you know, really really cool. I just assumed Rio was just another word that they put in front of Vallecano just as a name. Until I watched Cars in Spain this week with my daughter. Oh, really? <laughs> and Lightning That's McQueen cool. is called Rio McQueen. And I didn't realise yeah, that that's why it was called that. And now everything makes sense. <laughs> so that Rio means lightning? Lightning, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. That's nice. Right. Interesting we talk about Rio, though, because obviously, Nick, you're a massive fan of uh, Phil Gitlalina. And he, he's a Rio fan, is he? And he Ooh. says the club basically run like a... a yeah, I, I, I I'm going to let it go too far there, Matt. <laughs> Big Phil. We'll call him Big Phil. Shoot! 
Claro, that ball. But he's a big Real fan, isn't he? And he says the club's very yeah. much run like a, a 1950s club regarding the tickets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's in. Oh, it's in. It's in. It's in. It's in. It's fucking in. Rabbit hole. Roberto giving us the lead. We were waiting for the offside flag. I was there going, is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's, it's in. Well, it's in. It's done. It's done. There's none of that VAR bollocks in here. <laughs> they all because they're all flailing their arms about. I think he might have been offside, you know, but whatever. It, it looked it to me all. massively so. Nick, that um that message what I said. <laughs> um, are we going did, to Alex um, on the twenty fifth minute? We said we was going to Alex on after goals. It is the twenty fifth yeah, minute. I'm I'm voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it again now. Let's watch he's line. not going to oh, see no, he's it. on. He's on. No, he's on. He's on. That yeah, definitely. That is basics. Look at look at this number four here. He is just rooted That's to the ground. Game, yeah. He's not moving. That's a Arbor, great oh, Alex yeah. here. That is a very, very easy assist. I mean, what's the defence doing? Great Get finish. Get on the floor, you goalkeeping twat. <laughs> that means... Obdo de Beto. Vamos. Well, Malaga lead in the capital or capital adjacent. And here he is, right on cue, Mr. Alex Ashmore. <laughs> Can you Move hear me? Move the microphone. <laughs> Come on, Alex, tell us about the yeah. goal. Can you hear me? Yes, I did. I thought it was offside. And he snuck in, I think, to see around me, we're wondering, you know, is he offside? Can you not hear me? <laughs> Sounds like you're having a fit. Hello. We'll just watch Alex. <laughs> we'll just we'll just look at Alex. <laughs> just look at that smile on his face. That tells me everything I need to know about the bottom going. We can hear you a little bit, but it's very grumpy and Can you hear me? Yeah, bit Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you're coming to us from the nineteen sixties. Do you know do you ever have you ever watched Toast of London? <laughs> when he's when it's Clem Fandango he goes it's Clem Fandango, can you hear me? <laughs> I must be the only person who watches it. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yes. Better. Yes. Sod the microphone. And I'll the, go the, the, cameraless so you can hear me a little bit better. Um, to be honest, at first I thought the goal was offside. Roberto, you know, I won't say it too loudly, but I think he was. Um, he wasn't. But yeah, a good finish and a good start. Yeah. Oh, we can tell you again now. Ooh, he wasn't offside. Now he's offside. <laughs> he was offside at first. We didn't celebrate fully, but he's definitely onside between the replay. You think? Okay. If he's onside, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the fans. <laughs> offside, love I'll it. take it, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good finish. Alex, what do you think of the game so far? To be honest, I think I'd say even. Malaga seem to be pushing. I like the fact that Kevin is shooting, which is something that we don't see enough. And yeah, I think they had a little bit of a scare. I thought they scored about five minutes into the game. Um, but yeah, generally, I'd say Malaga are coming into the game quite nicely. And it's a, a nice way to start, considering usually we take about half an hour to warm up. Yeah, I, I actually think they have been the better team until the last three or four minutes before the goal. Um, like you said, a nice finish from Roberto. Um, it was good to see a good Kevin. Yeah. yeah, no, I think Kevin's been really good. He's been cutting in nicely from the left hand side, and he's let off a few shots. And yeah, I, I think the the passing is is very nice. Roberto seems to be linking up well with everyone, and I, I like Martin. the fact that we seem to be a bit more. I think direct, not in the sense that we're just hoofing it forward, but I think direct in the sense that we're just passing straight to the man. You know, we're not hoping and, and hitting it long because they're number four. There's no way he's under 27. He looks about 38. Um, he's massive. <laughs> and there's no chance that he, Roberto's beating him to a header. No, just to answer Palham, who's asked the question why I'm wearing sunglasses, because uh, I'm on my balcony <laughs> Really, really sunny. <laughs> any excuse, any excuse. Yeah. And I've, I've put the, uh, the, the, the yeah, I do have to. Speak, I? So, 
Uh, he says he's one of ours. He's always on side. Is is Roberto the Harry Kane of uh, of Malaga? Do you reckon? Is he one of our own? Is that the the chant we should be going with? I quite like the sound of it. I reckon we could uh, get it down the Costa del Donny. <laughs> he's actually he's actually not from Malaga though, is he? He's from uh, uh, Puente Genil, I yeah. think, which is which is probably much closer to Cordoba, I think. So. Yeah, but I swear he has come through the academy, so yeah. He, he so is we're saying when he scores, when he scores the winner against Cordoba, he's just gonna kiss the shirt and <laughs> oh, kiss the shit out of I can't think of his close to the Granada or Cordoba, but yes, he's uh, he is one of our own. We have cultivated him. Kevin's looking oh. very, very lively, here, by the way. Very yeah. lively. There's a bad tackle coming up on Kevin. Yeah, I've just seen it. Yeah, well, that, I don't think it was that bad. No, Ballam has uh, sent us a comment here talking about the 125th anniversary shirt. It's gotten some love from kit collectors. What are our thoughts on this? Do we like it? We absolutely bloody love it, don't we, boys? Yeah. yeah. So much so that only one of us, I believe, has managed to get his hands on the pre-order. The rest of us are having to wait with uh, everybody else, probably all the other kit collectors as well. What do you mean? No, I, I think, think I might speak to Keith Bell. I, I've ordered my one. I've ordered mine. But I'm pretty sure Alex has ordered his as well. Have you got yours as well, Alex? I yeah. do. Yes. Um, it well, it'll be one of those ones arriving in May or June or whenever they're arriving. Yeah. So the, the story about this is it's about ten thousand shirts that have been sold now, uh, but only two thousand of them are physically have physically been bought and are wearable right now. The other. Six to eight thousand, I assume, are all being um delivered in May, June, as Alex has said, because the, the demand is there. Um, honestly, Nick, like you say that I'm because obviously I, I'm leaving like here in July and August until September. I've got a horrible feeling they're just going to put them all out in three months and I'm not going to be able to collect them. <laughs> Do you reckon? I should, be, I should be in the six week bracket because I ordered mine very quickly, but we'll see. Mm, it, 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 that's what that's what made me nervous as well. To be fair, e even yeah. when it came to trying to pre-order it, um, you know, d to get delivered to Alex or or even to yourself or something like, it just was like you just don't. Well, I, I've had most people message me, and I've to I've told them like because I'm not here in the summer, and I get everything delivered to school. So I said like I am not taking responsibility for people's sixty-five year yeah. precious Malaga shirts and go into my workplace so i've i've had like three or four people message me asking i've just said like I, if, if it was like september maybe because i know i'd be here for like months ahead but i've said no i'm not it's for, like i'm not trusting myself with that see i want to get it to chris's but then i just thought like obviously we're there at the end of july for two months and it's just if it wasn't there or the fact of spending 70 pounds on something i'm not even going to have for three months i know it's going to be a collector's item forever if you know what i mean but I don't know. I just, I just think it could have been done better. Yeah. The one yeah, thing I would say about this, though, is that if obviously the, the shirt itself is absolutely beautiful and, and brilliant, but I have seen issues with like the badge peeling and some a of lot, the yeah, uh, lot. manufacturing mm -hmm. things. It that does make me a, a bit nervous. Like you say about spending seventy pounds on something that you know by the time it gets here, it might not be. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to see, like like you said, if if the badge is peeling off. And the club are saying it's limited edition, etc. Like, how do you replace yeah, it? Yeah. It's mm. like, it's... Surely a I shirt suppose... like that, they can't just give you a stick on badge and say, there you go, deal with yourself. You wouldn't think we, so. we, we, we were all at La Rosaleda last week, and I know I did, and I'm pretty sure you guys did. Every person you saw in that shirt, you looked at him with a bit of a, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just like they are. They do for anyone that's listening or watching. Um, I, I think we can all confirm they do look great in the flesh as well. They are really yeah. nice. It's a shame the goalkeeper. I mean, to be fair, how many Malagistas would wear a red shirt? True, yeah. mm -hmm. it's, it's a, a beautiful group, shirt, but I couldn't see many about. <laughs> Their player's called Boner. <laughs> that was my joke. I've got it written down. Oh. Is they it going to rise? Boner. Oh, that's a, that's a well, two players that Kevin's got booked so far by driving them. I think they're going to be running out of right backs. If only they had a 
a backup right back, which unfortunately we took off him. It's been it's been a it's been a hard game for Bowner so far. Hey. <laughs> He's not up for it. I thought that would be soft. Oh, it didn't, just didn't drop for him. Almost, almost. I, I feel a second goal coming. Yeah. Yes. That's not another boner joke either. That's just a joke. Gentle... <laughs> <laughs> we've not weirdly, we've not really gone down our right wing at all, have we? Like, there's it's all down this left wing. Yeah, I think they've seen they've, they've seen the, they've seen this boner as a weak link. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> it's getting childish now, guys. <laughs> no, no. Well, not, uh, to be fair, I think some of these predictions of uh, of two nil, three nil are, are looking good right now. Dare I say, I'm just looking round the corner of the stands too. There appears to be a lot of Malaga fans sat behind the goal as well, so not necessarily all along that far. Um, stand on the the opposite of the pitch. Um, so again, a great turnout, you know, because it's not. Yeah, it'd be, be interesting to know, and I'm sure Alex is obviously the man to tell us. But in terms of Real Madrid, Castilla, and the Atleti B attendances, there can't be much, can there? No. I think. Well, I like think... I remember, I remember being quite. Um, it might be because it was a Friday night, but I remember like going to that Villarreal Bear game last year yeah. to watch Malaga in, and being quite surprised how many Villarreal fans there. But but I think they had an initiative where you could go in for free with your season ticket. Um, and I think you've got to do stuff like that. Yeah, I think Alex said that regarding Castilla, that with your Real Madrid season ticket, you do get entry to Castilla. Right, I suppose well. the difference in Villarreal is that oh. it's a small town where everyone sort of lives in the town. So it's like, oh, what are you doing tonight? Oh, we may as well just go and watch the B team because, you know, we live 10 minutes from the stadium. And, oh, I've heard that Malaga are bringing a lot of fans. It's, All right. well, it's interesting you say that one, Matt. I, I was talking about that game earlier. And for me, that was like the performance of the season last last yeah, week. We could well, easily won that six or seven. Mm. Well, well it's, it's, especially when you I get on the... Right Segunda, you have to play at the main stadium as well, don't you? Yeah. So uh, even mean, when Real Sociedad Bay were up there a couple of years ago, they had to play at Anoeta. That you know, yeah. If they're bar they go up this season, they'll have to play at the main stadium too. So we did, we did, we didn't play at Anoeta when we played Real Sociedad Bay. Did we not? I we thought played. we did. No, because I think our friend Christian Makowski went, and he went. It was like a training ground. Yeah. Um, I, I think, think it's, it's just that we have to we have to be grateful for match. We it's have to be grateful match. like Matt more than anybody who obviously went to this game and by far looking like one of the, the great Malaga away trips of Granada B early in the season. I mean, I don't know if you've seen Whoa. their oh I don't know, their actual pitch, what they play on, is effectively a school field, a good looking school field, but they don't get to play in Granada Stadium every week. Yeah, it's, it, it's got to be weird. It's got to be weird for the players. I mean, this is a better turnout, a great turnout from Malaga. But to go from twenty five thousand at La Rosaleda to this, it really shows what level of football we are at these days. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, no, they they, they did. They played at um, the Real Arena. That that's Anoeta, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, it is. I'm. I'm, I'm Oh, I'm certain we did it. It's 2020. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure they did. That would have been a season where they was doing a lot of work to it as well, wasn't it? I'm happy to hold my hands up and say I'm wrong there, but I'm sure I picture us in like a training group. Maybe I've got to mix up with another club. Are you sure you're not thinking about Amora Bieta? You know what? I was just going to say maybe I'm thinking of Amora Bieta. Because they play But it, I, feel, uh, I feel that Bilbao was training ground. Yeah. They played at athletic clubs, yeah, training ground. Right, Nick, yeah, yeah, you're right. I feel like you played right at Bieta. But fair enough if we did, I don't remember that. Who, let, let's, you know, let's go full circle, was managed by Chabi Alonso at the time, who is, as we speak, chasing... Let me check. Let me check. It yeah, was last time I looked. Winning the league, Ooh. yeah. Well, they, they're winning yeah, the league anyway. Uh, be great if they won in front of their fans today. They yeah. certainly are winning the league. One up. 
and I should say, um, yeah. my friends from the England BT podcast are they watching the game? So good luck to them. Are they? No, that'd be cool. That would be very cool. It's easy. See, when Ruby's here, we normally score. It's normally a decent omen. We 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 need we, we need to just bide our time. But Atletico uh, Madrid Bay here just, uh, knocking the ball around and the fair. To be honest, they're just what waiting. Usually up. is when Ruby turns up. I swear a lot. So I'm gonna yeah, we, there's a couple of euros <laughs> in the sweating. <laughs> so I'll the be strange, okay. the strange thing. I mean, we could you could talk about Bay teams all day long. Really, I mean, do these players have that much incentive? Like the. Oh, they'll never be bothered about promotion. They're there like any academy but, player for themselves. But you say that, like, um, I, I agree. But the flip side of that is that when Pep Guardiola was the manager of Barcelona's B team and they won the league, like, yeah. then he took them all to the first team with him. Like, you know, Pedro and Busquets. Yeah. And the strange so, thing I is, I don't know about... I don't know if you guys know, but regarding, say, for example, this uh, Athletic B's team, none of them will be on big contracts in terms of a lot of them's contracts will be done at the end of the season. Where realistically do these guys end up? Would they jump to a second well, you know, level or? Well, you know, they... Luke, because because each week we do like a little bit of research on the teams we're playing. Yeah, and true. We yeah, say, yeah. Oh, this this team has a load of players that played for like Athletic B or Real Madrid or. They all seem to rock up in the third tier. That's yeah, they end up all over. Well, it, it's the big thing to, to, to come from it. And the, the the other thing that I don't like as far as the culture of it is concerned. Take, for example, um, Lauren Zuniga. Re yeah, yeah. Realistically, like, did we see the best version of Lauren Zuniga that could have been if he hadn't had this notion of wanting to join Real Madrid? Um, yeah, point. And go and sit in their B team or even C team where he is now, rather than actually build a career at Malaga similar to what um, Roberto is doing or Kevin's doing or something like that. It's that head turn to me that goes, well, actually, I'm going to go put myself in, um, you know, a, a La Liga's B team. I'd rather go play for them in their facilities and things like that rather than sort actually, of yeah. do your education in, in, a, in yeah. a proper football club. I mean, we, we all know. Why? You guys are moving in more in the WhatsApp group than me. What what level is Real Madrid C? Because I don't know. It's I lower than us. Yeah, well, obviously down the fifth, I, I, the fifth level yeah. thing is. I mean, okay. it's like it's like Balam says there. Obviously, Barcelona Bay. A lot of a lot of their players are going into the the Barca first team. <laughs> we all know La Masia is a different animal. Like what what they do is insane. Seventeen year olds, sixteen year olds dominating their first team currently. I but but that but that's the difference though. Sometimes with Barcelona, especially as of late, Barcelona's youth products yeah. tend to jump that B team thing. Mm. I can only really name of two B team players for Barcelona that have been in the B team and then gone into um, you know successful career, not necessarily at um, Barcelona either. And, and that would be Kiko for many years, who I think is at. Oh, he wasn't Watford, were he? He was at yeah. Watford. I think he's at Villarreal right now. Uh, and also, mentioned Chris, another one. Hello. you mentioned another one already, Nick, today. And I, I don't know if you guys are aware he played for Barcelona B under Pep Guardiola, but you referenced him in passing earlier, sort of. Sam um, Allardyce. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, oh, go on. Chico Flores. Chico Flores was part of Barcelona B team under Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola loved Chico Flores. Um, I love Chico Flores as well. Sam Allardyce loves Chico Flores. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I'm, I, I, again, I'm happy for Malaga fans to correct me here, but I'm not. I'm not I've got a, an inkling in my head that David Lomban might have been part of that team. Yes, as well. he was. He was. Well, the weird thing with David Lomban, if I remember, I think he was like a 25 year old playing in the Barca Bay team. Yeah, because he was quite old by the time he came. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You do. You do get it quite. Um, a bit like Tom Huddleston and uh, yeah, Jason yeah. 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 Jason <laughs> yeah. Coaches on the pitch. I love David Lomban. He's a great player. The, the, these are definitely coming into the game a hell of a lot more now. They, they really are. They've they found their, their pattern, haven't they? And they are definitely getting the, the execution right. What on earth is that? Come on, ref. Sort that out. Jesus Christ. Um... Yulu9U 
who has asked, um, if you want to watch the game, you need to go to FEF TV and you're going to have to pay for a subscription. It's about 10 euros a month. I, I, unless you guys can answer, give me a better answer, but that's what I'm doing right now. Nothing. That's where it's I, be honest. I noticed last week when we were in the stadium, the game was actually on Bet365 against Ceuta. Hmm. Strangely, yeah. So you could go watch on Bet365. I, can't, I, I don't think us against Atleti B will be, be on it. But, uh, Are you sure? Um, I could check for you. Yeah, as far as where it's on the subscription. Well, it is. Uh, and you can watch any oh, game referee. Me. Come on. Oh, bloody, it's like a clothesline. You know, when we said earlier about the, the B teams replica in how the first team plays, these have got the Siome, uh, Simeone shit hours in them, for sure. They have, yeah. Especially that centre-back there who just basically fucking picked up Roberto and gone... He's like a Stefan Savage. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. So Malaga's not actually on better three. Diego Godin. Diego Godin would be the one for me. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Who is this? Nice ball. I think Mal Malaga are looking, looking quick today as well, it seems. Yeah, they are. It's just very back. What? Half time. Half oh, time. Manu Molina's going, Why have you just stopped? We're, we're on the attack. And the referee's just gone, You played a B team, lad. Just calm it down. You're, you you, you played a B team yeah, and you're winning. That guy, that guy could be your kid. <laughs> Dear me, look at that giant child there. Uh, Steve Jackson sent is in a comment. I'm just if you look at Man City, how many of the city youth really make it? Foden and uh, Bob, uh, maybe there's not many more, and they must have the biggest. Youth the it's an interesting one, actually. Um, sorry to jump in because when I lived in Manchester, I used to go watch Man City's youth team quite a lot, and like loads of the players from our youth team have gone on to have like good careers, maybe not with Man City. For, so, for example, the player I was obsessed with in the youth team was Dennis Suarez, who's obviously had quite a, mm. who's basically I thought, David Silva light um, and has had a good career. Uh, Fafana went to Monaco. Um, there's a few a of certain, them. A certain Malaga player? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw him play. What, what's yeah. the name of the, I can't believe the, the English lad. Um, there was Jaden Sancho. No, Patrick, Patrick Roberts. Patrick Roberts, yeah. Cole Palmer. Uh, Rome, Rome, is it Lavia, who's now at Chelsea? He was at City yeah. as well. I saw Devante Angelino, Spanish international. Devante yeah, Cole, who... Uh, oh, no, sorry. We're looking at Devante Rodney. Beg my pardon. I was going to say, we're looking <laughs> at Jordan Blackpool, but not, not the same guy. But you're right, Steve. You right. But However, we get, what, to... we get what you're saying, Steve. We get what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to make it into city. To be fair, if there's any club at the minute that you would say where people do jump from the the youth team into the elite uh, Premier League side, it would be um, Liverpool. You know the amount of you know young lads that are coming through there. You know yeah, Trent sure. Alexander being the main one, but the other one, Curtis Jones. Alex you. I am here. How are you? I um, well, just trying to find some shade in what is a very hot stadium. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I can help you with this, Alex. There is none. <laughs> yeah, there is no shade where you are. You are the shade. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you going to um, throw some shade on, Alex? Uh, <laughs> no, to be honest, I, I think. Well, obviously, the goal made it a positive first half. I do agree with you, Matt. I think they were the better team. They were pushing forward a lot more. And, yeah, I, I think, I don't know whether it's just a case of we feel happy sitting back, but I can see them getting a goal because they are pushing and they're getting closer and closer. And going forward, we're not exactly pressuring them in any way, apart from the odd counter-attack. No, I'd, I'd agree with that. I think getting towards half-time there, you could see them start to click a little bit more. And, and obviously, Alex, you watch um, Atleti play more often than than we do. Um, do. Do you see a lot of parallels between this B team and the first team, or are, are they chalk and cheese? To be honest, I mean, the Simeone's teams have a very you know specific style of playing, and it doesn't feel like a sort of Obviously, the quality in players is, is massive. They don't different. have an Anton Griezmann, do they? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think they... They don't give off 
the air of a of a and like I heard you guys talking about players that go through and like looking at these guys, if I was brutally honest, I don't think any of them are capable of playing in the first team. You know, they're they're decent but they're nothing, you know, special. No, no, I'd probably I'd probably agree with that. These these are players that will litter themselves out amongst, like you say, the the Spanish Segunda and maybe maybe the Primera as well. They're similar to Carlos Puga and you know Carlos Puga is not a, a bad footballer, but you know he's not coming and you know got the uh, the the right back shirt and made it his own straight away, has he? He's very much competing with hockey and uh, Gabi Londo. So you know it's um it's it when, must be when, when we fuck up the playoffs, we'll see half of these players for Linares and yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, yeah, I think I the worst that. thing that ever got me with 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 the whole thing was with Villarreal Bay last season, and they started to get into some into some real trouble, didn't they? Towards the um, end of March, start of April, and we were really catching them up. And then all of a sudden, two or three players from the first team drop into the B team, and all of a sudden things look a little bit rosy. And that's the thing that I'm not saying that Simeone is going to drop Griezmann or uh, you know, Korea into this team if he needs to, but the fact that he could just makes it a bit of a mockery, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. give me Manu Molina Alex, in day of the week. Alex, if you've been listening, does the Santiago Bernabal look like an air fryer? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the tweet. <laughs> Great tweet. I saw the close to Nick Bell. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, no, it, it, it just ruined it for me. It's like shattered that glass. Do you know when someone tells you, oh, I mean, everything that's going on inside the burnabout is really healthy and you know there's no issues, it's not gonna lead to long <laughs> yeah. damage. So the football's really hot. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. We need to tweet, we need to tweet Real Madrid. And tell him that Santiago Bernabeu looks like an air fryer. Maybe that could be, um, especially now that we've seen the concept for Malaga's new stadium, we can uh, do like a running thread of Spanish football stadiums looking like other stuff, and we can have the, the, the what, what do you what do you think the Malaga La Rosaleda concept looks like? Because it has got a big handle on the end of it as well. Ooh, yeah. So what, what could that be? Like a serving dish, maybe? I don't know. They all look like all the, the, the basket, the basket where you put a baby in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no roof on the sides, the handles in the middle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> San Mamez, that, that, that's got like a bit of a, a fruit bowl look to it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, bowl, 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 bowl. Yeah. Big bowl. <laughs> Very, like... A bowl where you can, like, you know, you've got those, um, you get those, like, uh, digital album frames that, like, have different photos. Like, a bowl with one of those. The, this, this would be the kind of stuff we have a Patreon for. You know, the, you should be paying for this level of insight and depth. But watch out for the thread coming to you soon. Well, so, just back to the actual football then. Would you make any changes at half time? Does you think there's anything that needs to be done to maybe give Malaga a bit of vigour just to maybe disrupt the flow uh, that Atletico uh, Madrid are, are stepping up to right now? Anyone you'd like to see brought on the pitch? I think, to be honest, I think the big thing has been the midfield. It seems to be, you know, whenever the ball goes forward and it gets cleared, there's no one from Malaga in the midfield. There's the first, the second ball is always won by an Atleti player, and I, I think in order to, you know, alleviate some of the pressure that we are getting from their attack, you know, I think we need more bodies in the midfield. And I know we're playing with some capable midfielders. It just seems that they're not, they're not there when the second ball drops. And I think if we can, I've got my suggestion. It'd be, um, yeah. I would think of Genaro, which I know. I know that means we lose games, but I take him off, drop Danny Lorenzo back, and bring on David Ferreira. I just think we look better with David Ferreira. He's had, he's had a, he's had a hard depending, depending, depending on the fitness, and depending on the fitness, and I don't think there's any need to do it at half time. But if we want to no, take no. control of the ball in this game, 
we've got two outstanding players to take a game, Ramon and David Ferreiro, depending on Ramon's City. fitness. I was just noticing uh, your comment as well, Alex. To us, I think we spoke about Lauren Zuniga in the game, uh, also David uh, Lomban. You say they're both there. Yeah, and the Cordoba manager. So they're all. I assume Lorenz obviously watching his former teammates David Lomban as well. But Cordoba obviously doing a the manager doing a bit of scouting for the upcoming game. He's fucking shitting himself. He scouts loads of times. I was going to say, he must be a fan, I reckon. Um, what we need from you, Alex, then, for your, or your mission or, or your purpose for this afternoon is to get a selfie with uh, Lauren Zunega. I'll, I'll, I'll do, do my best. best. I'll do my best. David Lombard. David Lombard. I love David Lombard. I'd accept Lombard, Both. but yeah. Zunega's going to be the top, the top one. <laughs> and you need to tell him, do you remember your touch in Linares? <laughs> Because the Geary cast will always remember yes. the touch in the eye. And if he doesn't cry when you ask him, he's a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> we've, made, we've made you a highlight reel on the Geary cast Twitter, and it's just the touch. <laughs> <laughs> him coming back off the pitch. <laughs> what about you, uh, Luke? Any, anything you do to change? Like I say, I wouldn't specifically change anything now, but the refreshing thing is that we've actually got a good bench these days. There's a hell of a lot of players that we can we can bring on across board. When you look at the bench, we've got back up right back, back up left back, anything, centre half, midfield. The one thing we know we haven't got is the striker, but we have Dione. So yeah, the two totally different players, aren't they? I mean, we've seen in that first half Roberto's work rate again. He's just unbelievable. The guy doesn't stop. Whereas Dione would rather get the ball to his feet, want him play with his back to goal. So I wouldn't specifically change anything yet, but regarding Ramon's fitness, maybe about the hour mark to really take control. I'd, I'd get Ramon on, on at half-time. I think uh, what Alex is saying is, is absolutely right in terms of the, no one being there to win that second ball. I think and I think that comes down to um, Gennaro. I'm not saying that Ramon and Gennaro are similar players, but I think what we saw Ramon and Molina do in uh, that game against Leonardo, it would just mean that it would just pick over a lot more nicely. I take back my comments when David Ferreira because I'm just so not used to saying, let's bring Ramon on. I'd forgotten about him. So, yeah, I'd bring Ramon on. <laughs> the strange thing is, I mean, we were all excited last week, is why Ramon didn't come on last week against Sayuto. I understand not start, but to bring him on for 45 minutes against uh, Melia, it were like yeah. straight in and then back out. So I don't, it wasn't as if he, he wasn't ready or anything. So every picked up another little niggle or something. Because we all know he's first class. I mean, we raved about him after that 45. Yeah. Pedro Munoz. Um, so far, we don't know if this patch around. I'm, I'm not going to comment any further. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, yeah. <laughs> We I mean, they're obviously a guy who started last week who's came out of the team, but Aaron Achomoni is the replace for him in this 45. Yeah, that, then that's it, you know, potentially playing more kids against kids is, is, is the way to go. Um, I imagine that there'll be a lot more energy from Atleti B in this second half as well. So, you know, as legs start to, to tire, that's when we should be looking to make changes as well. But, you know, we've got the initiative. We've got the, the lead at the minute. Um, the court of a manager shitting himself in the stands because we are all yeah. awesome. Um, but yeah, no, it'd be a, an interesting second half. One uh, I assume is starting soon, <laughs> but I've got circle wheel of death should, at the minute. I should say, now you've just mentioned Aaron Ochoa, the more I think about it, like David Larubia is really not stepping up again, I don't think. I think he no. got the assist, which you know, it was quite a tidy assist, but his no, was, uh, was Lorenzo. With the assist, David Larubia very much shies in a game. Is he'll do some? He'll he'll play for fifteen minutes effectively in ninety. I always think. I don't know. Yeah, we got Chris. Here's Chris. Here as well. Hi. <laughs> Chris can take over my spot for a second while I go to the toilet. <laughs> Alex, Chris, are we uh, are we confident of seeing this through? Um, yes and no. I think Malaga is slightly better. I think La Rubia is off, like you guys have mentioned. 
I also do think Kevin is dangerous. But the two shots he had, the first one looked very dangerous, but wasn't really dangerous. And the second one, well, it wasn't hard enough. It was not so good. Uh, um, Danny Lorenzo is a bit off to me as well. Yeah, I'd say Danny Lorenzo today. Yeah. And I would say uh, no Genaro, no party. Which is very much the uh, the slogan at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's important. You can see all the defensive work he does. A bit too slow for me on the ball. Um, I don't think we have created much, did we? I mean, no. the goal was to bleed, yeah. but... Do we, do we think Manu's been quieter again as well, Nick? I mean, we know how influential Manu is to this team in terms of getting hold of the ball. Yeah, no, I, I would agree. I don't think he's been as um, persuasive and as and instrumental as he's been usually. Um, but it just seems to be like everything is just... I, I'm something eager... not quite right in that midfield at the minute for me. And, that, and that's why I think it needs to be changed. That's why I think Ramon needs to come on more, more than anything. Just to to fresh it up a little bit, and if either that's for Molina or for Gennaro, then I'm 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 not bothered which one. But I'd like to see that Molina and uh, Ramon partnership again because it looked really good against Linares. So we're back underway. So I'll uh, I'll leave you guys until there's a Alex, goal update. Alex, where where did the accreditation got you to? Because you're not on the pitch. The accreditation again. got me to a seat in the stand. <laughs> Alex is coming on in the second half. But are you are you yeah. are you are you able to go to the press uh, uh, the press uh, thing later? Yes. Yes. Okay. I am. Um, I'm sat next to the Canal Sur guy. So. Okay. Oh, Get, that Get that microphone out. Get that microphone out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, and the TV really as well. <laughs> Here's my TV. It's Canal Sir, guy. <laughs> They're cheering. Something's happened. <laughs> no, it's... Alex. Alex. There right. he goes. Oh. Okay. Leave so oh, I don't spoil anything for you. Alex, can you can you film the ground for us? Are there a lot of Malaga fans? Is that right? <laughs> You're filming the pitch. Oh... Mm. It's a very, it's a very small stadium. Um, okay. But yeah, more Malaga fans than home fans, I think. No, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, the way it should be. Right. So. Okay, guys. See you guys to the stream. Adios, Alex. Adios. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. And just like that, there was three. And then we're back again. And we're back again. Nick, uh, Nick uh, I think you really need to look at the comments. I'm ignoring it for me, perfectly honest. The eye of tin, what I said, I will not give it the light of day. Um, Mr. K. Quinn, Molina is a bottleneck. Everything is too laboured. <gasps> Matt, we... by any chance, when you went to the toilet, did you hear uh, Chris's thoughts on Kevin's first half? I heard the word Kevin, and I thought, well, I hope. Go on, what, what was? Give me the summary. What would you say the summary was, Nick? He was full of praise. Oh, good. He, no. he said, um, I and I thought, here we fucking go. But, <laughs> but, but with Chris, there's always the caveat. It was, he's doing well, but he's, he's shooting. done this, but. And it was just the, the shooting was off, was it was his uh, was his well, main yeah, issue. But We've heard him say a lot of worse things about Kevin this season, so uh, we'll, yes, take, exactly. we'll take that for sure. Take it as a win. How long do we think uh, Sergio Pelletier will leave this? About the hour mark, are we thinking? 65 minutes. So just a second, it, there was no changes, no? No, no, no. No, no, no nothing so far. No. As per usual, 65 minutes, it's just when PSL likes to do things. Yeah. Guaranteed substitution on 65 minutes, PSL. 79 minutes. 79. <laughs> or on a booking, yeah, that's the other one. I think at the moment as well, guys, it's very much the matter of we are in the lead. So, like we were saying before the game, it's, it's a crucial three points. I do think if we can keep it to the eight to eleven kind of points for both Ceuta and teams like that, we we will be safe as the games are getting eaten away. Yeah, I don't think we're getting relegated. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be safe. 
<laughs> you know that what I mean. Goes. Safe in the safe in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that that going? We'll be safe. Safe, safe, yeah. safe for this season. I think might be safe, safe already. <laughs> Well, it doesn't quite lift us up um, into third again because um, Ibiza got the win today. Um, Who scored for Ibiza again? Bally Arex Derby. Yep. Go yes. on. Go on. Give it. Give it. Oh, <sighs> Another waste of chance. Yeah, in, in, yeah. Truth, in truth, I mean, we mentioned at half time we haven't really created much, but we, I think we've had chances again. Yeah. But interestingly, it only puts us three points as things stand behind Cordoba, which is, um, you know, again, just if you're going to resign yourself to the playoffs, then where do you want to be? You know, in theory, finishing second puts you up against the, the team that finishes fifth in the other side. The thing is, um, with playoffs, we see, you you know it better than anybody, Nick, in the, the UK playoff system. It's a different ball game when you're in there. What does Nick <laughs> know about? I know it too. Yeah, well, yeah. But you, you've seen when you've seen when Blackpool are the, the kings of the playoffs, aren't they? And only three and points. Where where teams, the minute. We've seen it where teams finish twenty five points above sixth, but when it's knockout football, anything can happen. Black Blackpool are just great at playoffs, uh, and and at one season, the season we went up to the Premier League was at the expense of Matt's beloved Swansea as well. No card of City. I think we got. Oh, sorry. Got, Sorry, I mean, oh, yeah. you beat <laughs> regarding <laughs> yes. uh, regarding Grupo Uno. There's without watching too many of it. There's not too many teams that I'd be bothered about not facing, apart from the one what's currently running away with the league. Thankfully, yeah. well, they that, should get that, like it's going to change. Does it to be fair? And but no. I think everyone else is up for. I think the big thing for that league is is the amount of B teams you've got in the, yeah, um, exactly. in the playoffs. You know what I mean? That's the other. I mean, we know, we know. There's there's not many teams who's going to want to face Malaga. We've got the defensive record, and we've got La Rosaleda. Well, I, I would say as well. Going, oh well, you want to finish second so you can play the team who finishes fifth. But if you're, say for example, you're um, Barca B at the minute, who are I think second in the league on in Grupo uh, Uno, do they really want to play Ceuta in the form that they're in at the minute? Do you know what I mean? So it's not it's not a given. That you know, just because you finish second, that you're going to get the. And also, there is the sort of, as like um, you talk about, like especially the championship. There is that sort of famous thing, isn't it? Like the team that finish sixth Ooh. are usually the team that are coming into form. Yeah, and yeah, they're broken. Yeah. So there is a part of me that thinks, oh, maybe finishing third isn't too bad at all. But, I mean, yeah. basically, okay. basically at the Lots moment. The, the four teams in the playoffs is Barca Bay, Gymnastique, Ponferradina, Celta Bay, and then just beneath them, um, Cultural Leon Leon Leonessa. So Don't there's nothing finish. there to be overly worried about. I would be about. worried about in a in a playoff game against, against Ponferradina because they're a team. Ponferradina and, and Leonessa just for the culture of that club. That, that they're, the, they're the the home the the crazy at home, aren't they? Is that is that yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to play that neither. I'm being, and also they I'm really fascinated by and I'd like them to go up. There's, <laughs> there's, only, to... there's only one more team beneath that who really has a chance. It's uh Arentero, C D Arentero. Well, I can't say I've really heard, but besides, besides that there's no else coming up. Lugo, they're a long way back. I don't know again without knowing too much about Group O. Of Wampe, clearly. Yeah, I do think we've got the stronger league. I know we said a lot in at the beginning of the season how it was very split. Now it's I mean teams like Ceuta and Recre and stuff like that are oh, all capable of beating everyone else on the day. Absolutely, this the Group O Dos is is the harder of the two leagues. Oh. Fucking hell! First score there. Almost, almost. Alex Ashmore is back once again. He must have something to tell us. Alex Ashmore, have you found Lauren Zuniga? No, I haven't. Can you hear me? Yeah, hey, you so great. Oh, lovely. No, I just thought I'd do a test. There's nothing to report on. Uh, but yeah. I've got the mic all set up and the headphones all set up. So we've gone pro now. <laughs> have you got the uh, the John Motson sheepskin as well? No, <laughs> you imagine way you too warm. To I'd be, I'd be dying. <laughs> Based on the rest of the Malagueses, when is the shirt coming off? 
yeah. I mean, pretty much all of them have got their shirts off, actually. Although there's a section behind the goal where there's shade. So, and I think my mum is in that section. So, <laughs> Very nice. but right. my mum's in the yeah, away end. <laughs> can, 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 can we send the link to Alex Ashmore's mum and get her to tune into StreamYard and get Alex Ashmore's mum on the podcast? Let's, Alex, do your thing. <laughs> if she could get her phone to work, then I'm sure she could. <laughs> do it, Alex. Um, do I'll, it. Uh, I'll leave you guys. Can you put me backstage, Nick, so I don't spoil anything for you? But I'll stay backstage. I shall. I shall. I'll get the pleasure of watching Alex's reaction first. Digital backstage. <laughs> Sounds so professional, doesn't he? He does, he does, isn't he? He's the man for the job. It is, it is. Oh. Balling from Victor. What, what do you mean? Oh. When I'm pitch side, do I not sound professional? The, the the difference between you and Alex is, Matt, so far, we haven't heard. I can't hear anything. I can't hear. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can hear you, but I'll just talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's the catchphrase. <laughs> Kevin's Kevin. been great. Kevin's limping, by the way, after another kick. Yeah. This time from Ndai. Oh, they've probably given him a bit of a kick in, in this game, haven't they? Oh, look, Gennaro's getting involved again. Which we don't want to see. <laughs> no, Gennaro, he's, he's, he's anger at the minute. He's. Do we think a second goal kills this, guys? Or Yeah, definitely. Fingers crossed. Oh, and the number seven's down as well. Goal? Oh, the ball goes in the net. <laughs> In the guys in the comments, guys in the comments, do do we think a second goal is going to kill this game, or is there a lot more to come from Atleti? I think we've got to get a second goal here. We've, we've got it. Oh, hello, hello here again, Canaro. Oh, so it's the same replay. Are we watching the same thing yeah, again? I have, no I, have where, I have no idea where we are now. <laughs> What's real? I feel like I'm in the Matrix. Get Alex back. <laughs> Look at that lovely shirt yeah, in the background. Shirt. He's proud of that one. The wanker. Finish. Big ball in. Oh, oh. Oh. Big, oh, no. Not Matt, I think we, we spoke about it last week in Malas Toledo. One of the fantastic things, even when you're watching the corner being taken there, is I think there were six Malaga fans and five had different shirts on. The range of shirts, what you see within the Malagistas. I would say the bet. I think I might even said this on the weekend when I was at uh, Racing Santander in the summer. That's the best place I've ever been for just a complete like fashion show of shirts that everyone had a different shirt on. And I'm not a big lover of Racing Santander, but I was quite impressed with. I'm happy their. to say that um, with this 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 season and last season in particular, I've worn a different shirt to every Malaga game. Mm -hmm. You know, it's through, right. through, through our pictures. Who do you think you are, Madonna? So, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and 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 uh, to be fair, our little I've seen, uh, I've TikTok got a lot I've of uh, you, attention. I've seen you go into the toilet at half time and do a costume change. <laughs> <laughs> Two shirts for the price of one. <laughs> uh, that should be the way. This the, the sad thing is we didn't have the Tivoli shirts, um, unfortunately. Which is, is that what we should be calling it now? Should it be the Tivoli shirt from now on? I guess so. that, uh, I don't know. Did it look I better? Say, I mean, it definitely looked better I mean, with Tivoli on than the... Did, did we have our sponsor last week? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yes. Oh, 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 no, no, no. What, a what a save. Fucking hell, I looked in. The camera Very the Alfonso Herrero-esque. What to say? I'm a big fan of the goalie. Big fan of the goalie. Fists up, slaps the guy in the arse. Yeah. <laughs> as as Matt leaves the chat once more. <laughs> My brain's not figured this one out oh, just yet. What to say? Really. What to say? What to say? Looked like it went in. <laughs> Very much uh, a reference is say before Peter Schmeichel versus Rapid Vienna. It's not that. It, it, it he gets down. down. He gets down. He does get down, but he has to put it over the bar for that. Sorry, I'm not having a reference. Mal Mal Malaga's really come out. Malaga's really come out on top in this second half. They have been. Another oh, corner? Another corner. Oh, no, another he's giving it as goal kick. Oh, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. What the game? Know, the system, but that is a kick. Root one. 
it's exactly what you want from your goalkeeper, but it's been a very quiet game for uh, Alfonso yeah. Ferrero so far. Yeah. Oh, they call in a penalty there, they. I think VAR was the number six, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was a penalty, but not not one I'm going to cry about, right? But this is the thing I'm now look at those followings. You know, when we're talking about that, there's not whether there would be any parallels to to Simeone kind of football, but just occasionally you see a lot of late challenges from from this team or shirt pulls or grabs on the shoulders, things like that. And that that is very sort of. Simeone-esque. Yeah. And they, these guys will have to learn the dark arts to get into the, the first team. You must know the dark arts. They're looking dangerous here. But well blocked off. They're a like, little bit different this year, Atleti. I'm not saying they're pure, but... They're not no, they're saying, they're, they were saying up to Christmas, weren't they, basically? I think that was the last yeah. time I heard it. Like, this is a, a different... They have an amazing year, yeah. Effect, don't they? yeah, yeah. No, I, I would definitely uh, buy into that, that this isn't the... Atletico Madrid we've seen of of recent well the last ten years really. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, I, it's, yeah, besides besides Savage, who else is the shit houses in that team? The they kind of changed the ways a bit, haven't they? And I, I generally do believe uh the like Anton Griezmann's I put him in the top five players in the world, if not the top three in regards yeah. to like Oh you, know, you dirty bastard. And and he, he, that's Boner. That, Boner <laughs> went in very hard now. Bowen went in very hard. <laughs> I just don't understand how he's got away with that. He's clearly not made a fucking attempt to get the ball there. He's just ran into Kevin. And I'm annoyed because there's a bowler going in on Kevin and I, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to carry on that long. <laughs> You're trying to get us cancelled? <laughs> Come on, oh, I'm carry, carry on. <laughs> in, the, in the first half, we, we commented and we noticed we were using Kevin a hell of a lot out there. Since getting two of their players yellow carded, it seems like we this second half we haven't been using him as much. Whereas you'd think with him getting being on bookings, you would be getting Kevin driving at him. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh dear. Hold well on. I think we have we've been relatively strong at the back again today, I think. Yeah, we're always good at the back. I think even yeah. in the last game, I think we, um, on the review show, I think we were a little yeah, bit harsh on our defense because I think the goal uh, Suta scored was just a just a perfect cross. Like you know, you can't mm. do anything about. Like Making us work for it so far. Sixty-one yeah. minutes in, I'm on, and still one nil to Malaga against Atleti B. Yeah, yeah that's, that's got to be a yellow card, hasn't it? You know, just just get, well. get a grip, man. Ooh. But uh, there definitely needs to be a second goal from Malaga here to really... I think, it, yeah, in, in, in the next couple of minutes is where the change needs to happen. The first one generally is a double sub with Pelletier, isn't it? Mm, usually. I think that's a good game which for him. Now, which we are doing yeah. now. And it's Kevin coming off for Sangale and Avila's coming on. I don't, no, I don't really like this one. <laughs> the 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 two changes that we weren't really excited. No, about. really, really surprising this one. Mm, As they're yes. bringing their captain Herrero off for Morata. So who is Gennaro? Gennaro, Gennaro, Gennaro and Kevin. For, I don't really like this. I will admit, I don't like this. Well, Sangali's going to show something, isn't he? I like Sangali, but he's not. Every time he's featured in the last couple of months, he's not offered anything. No, he, he needs to get back on to some kind of form because he did yeah. look good at the start of the season, didn't yeah, he? He's a really good player, yeah. He's... Mm. The, the Steve Vila's one for me, to be fair. He's 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 shown me absolutely nothing since uh, no, joining the club on loan. And, you know, right. we were talking before about, you know, B-team players um, going out alone and getting experience and making a name for themselves. Well, it, I don't think he is on loan from Leganas B. He's a first team player or, or, or part of the first team. Yeah, well. they, don't, they don't want him, basically. They don't want him, yeah. And I mean, to be honest, I, knew, I nearly mentioned it at half time. For me, they are the two weakest players on our bench. 
interestingly. Mm. I'm not a fan of any of them. I like Sangali. Well, I I can see a player in Sangali. Yeah, Sang Sangali was was, was um, one I um, pumped at the start of the season that I was quite excited to see. He he, he comes from good caliber. You know, he's played in. Yeah. I'd say, know, apart from Diony, he was the you know the player that came with the most pedigree. Yeah, like a marquee player, wasn't he? Yeah. I dare say that one one thing. What this says to me is Ramon is not fit. Not coming on last week. You've got an asset like that on your bench. He's not going to be taking Manu off, is he? At any point in this game? Well, he might. I think he might. Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh hello. Yeah. Oh, has he God. missed? How the hell's he missed? I thought Jesus he's in. Christ, this stadium is like the fucking house of mirrors. I don't know well, what. To be honest, with you. I, thought, I thought that was in. Apart from you I guys thought react. Oh, you can't be in. <laughs> Sixty-four minutes in and. Atleti missed an absolute sitter, I guess. That, oh, oh my god, that, that is an unbelievable shot. That is why he's a team player. Fuck me sideways. Wow. If that was Dione, imagine how much shit we'd be giving him right now. See, we, we've said we've said this many times this season as well. When Malaga's been on top in a game, haven't taken advantage of that period, and then conceded, and then it's. The head seemed to blow up. Steve Jackson adds, how on earth? <laughs> we don't know. Yes. It doesn't look logical to that to have been missed. But how on earth is a good question. How on earth is David LaRubia? <laughs> how on earth is Avila's our first sub? <laughs> like, do you Ooh. think that maybe... Um, Pace with one eye on next week, going, you know what? Let's keep Gennaro and Kevin fresh. I don't think this game's over yet to be thinking like that. I don't I don't think. But I also Gennaro, think Ferrero players, would have been Ferrero would have been a first sub. Is Gennaro one of the players on like a booking limit? Because I know there's a couple of them. I can't remember who is. But still I'm not I too sure. I'm not too sure to be honest. Well, I'm not, I'm not that too bothered about the Sangali Gennaro thing. I think we need to give Sangali another go and it's on him. Less big on the Vila's subsidy. We just seem to have, uh, team to have lost, lost his ways a little bit here. Yeah, it's, 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 the sub seems to have. Uh, He's offside. Side. Way offside. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I don't think so. Gennaro's currently on seven cards, okay. of, one, okay. of which one is a red. So he's all Moussa. right. Moussa. They, I mean, this is this is quite different. I am a fan of Moussa, though. I'm a very I'm a fan of getting. Yeah, Moussa. I love Moussa. I think we all are. This, who's, uh, who's this going to be for them? Because Juan well, maybe Malia. Hakim. Hakim. Oh wow. Okay. I think Moussa can play right back. I guess that's where he's going. No, he looks like he's going central. Moussa with the Preds. Are they going three at the yeah, back? Yeah, formation change, do we think? Yeah, Pace definitely three at with the back. formation change. What is this world coming to? But I'm trying to think who is the right back or the wing back. Be La Rubia. Has to be. Which I want to put that as a <laughs> as a thing. Unless we're going proper three at the back. Yeah, or well, maybe, yeah, just having a flat. It does look like a flat four, to be fair, at the middle. Yeah. Just the way it's sat. Which, definitely also got seem, which also seems fairly dangerous when we're playing against a team who leaving three up there. Who do like to score goals as well. Yeah, this could be yeah. who, who have just almost scored from the left wing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I see. Yes, this does seem a bit naive. But in pace yeah. uh, we trust. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, trying yeah, to pencil yeah. together what, what, what we are looking like right now and like you say, I can only see La Rubia out there, which is a bit of a, a shock. Yeah, I, 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 I that, that's what I'm looking at here. It's like it's for the Kevin look how high on the pitch uh, Victor Victor is there in comparison. He's even beyond, um, even beyond Daniel Alonso just then. 
Very strange. I mean, you'd think, I don't with, know with, that. you'd think with Victor being on the pitch, it must be taps a, a taps we must be playing wing backs instead of an actual three three five in midfield. I can't see why he push him higher at this stage in a game when you one nil up as well. Um, it's best not. But again, to not 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 the sub. What I would have thought. Yeah, nope. Strange ones. Very strange ones. We normally say Pelissier is quite predictable on that, and he's definitely not today. I mean, to be honest, it looks like Aviles has gone as a centre forward with Roberto. Yeah, it does. Alex is saying that Manu Molina is sitting very deep just in front of the defence. Okay. So Manu Molina into CDM. Two sh strikers up top, Aviles and Molina. Manu Molina, the John Stones role. Potentially. And and looking at where um, Roberto is now in comparison to Aviles, it looks like more Roberto is playing off Aviles, or at least it did until. Aviles decided he's going to go on a mad run back to defence, but <laughs> whatever, whatever changes have been made here, we've we've been under the cosh in the last five minutes. If we come away with a victory here, is this the Sergio Pelissier masterclass? He must have heard Alex Alex Ashmore saying the corner the manager there and said, <laughs> "I'm going to mess with your head. <laughs> you will not know what I'm going to do against Cordoba." Maybe this is 4D chess from Pelissier showing the corner the manager. Oh, I, I can do anything. <laughs> I'll put Bruce, Bruce as a striker. Have I just seen, by the way, that Alex has said that Rodrigo de Paul is at this game? Uh, no, I think he was uh, suggesting that Rodrigo de Paul was um, one of the players. Ah, the ship, yeah, ah, yes, yes, yes. So Very true. Very true. Players. Uh, Manuel yes. GS says, hi, guys, where can I watch the match? Uh, we watch it uh, on FEF TV, the home for all Primera football and foosball, if you're interested. But it's nine ninety nine a month uh, subscription. Um, which when I tell that to my wife, she cannot actually believe it that I'm paying ten pounds a month to watch third tier Spanish football. My wife's well behind it. <laughs> my wife not so much. <laughs> go on. Oh, go on, Roberto. Oh, that's a shit pass, Roberto. That is terrible. Ah, that... To be fair to Avila's, that was a right run from him as well. He looked he yeah. Looked yeah, yeah. We've been awful the last 10 minutes. I know. Since the subs. <laughs> we just seem to keep going forward and forward and forward. And it just makes me nervous now that we've got three at the back. Well, I don't even know and what. Would... And David LaRubia like... at right wing back. Do you remember when you touted Kevin for a right wing back? What What are oh, your credentials is... for LaRubia as a right wing back? Are they high or are they low? Non-existent. Non-existent. <laughs> yeah. Because Kevin can tackle and chases. Well, that's it. Like this just be so bad. Just okay. coming away from this a second. You know, obviously the championship. There's. It seems like nobody wants to win it. Ah! Yeah. Oh my god! You know yeah. these are so bad up front. We we were raving about these up front. These are. How has he missed that? That's terrible position. I think. It, anyway, I think it's by, uh, nobody wants to win the championship. Just seeing that Villas beat Arsenal two 0 Bearing in oh, mind, Palace won at Liverpool earlier. And... Yeah, I watched that game. Fucking hell. Oh, I bet Pep is rubbing his hands together. He's, He's not playing for Atletico first team anytime soon, based on that. To be fair, I, 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 you know what? I am really happy with um, for Unai Emery in that situation. Yeah, I like Unai Emery. I, I think, I think, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. I'm a, like... Living in Manchester so long, I do like City a lot, but I did want a bit of a change this year, so I did want Arsenal to win it. I can't wait to speak to Mr. Michael Phillips because every time Tottenham get beat or concede a corner or anything, <laughs> he's great on to me. Look at he's, this, is terrible. This, I had this, that's terrible. I'm not being that funny, though. Nick Bell finish. Alfonso <laughs> Herrero has that covered. <laughs> he's I think, I think, but how did they get a corner out of that? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah, <laughs> it was so it, it was so bad that they didn't actually believe it was missed. <laughs> it, was, it was that bad. They went, no, it had well, to I did. Save. I did watch the uh, Liverpool Palace game in the bar today, and uh, like th this feels a bit like that where Liverpool just couldn't. They had so many chances, couldn't bury any of them, and. Atleti are doing similar things at the moment. I, 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 I just, honestly, I, I don't understand what we've done. I really don't. 
And it's proved Probably. that with this, with this last 10 minutes, we seem to be all over. Awful. We're awful. There's no, I mean, there seems to be no one to like, nothing. set the no ball control. No, nah. we're not passing. It's, I mean, I'm not being funny. Why, why the hell have we got David Lubia as a right wing back here? Crazy. Get Booger on. Let him have a run out against his old mates and get Lubia on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that's got to be the sub, hasn't it? Is he allowed to play? I, I don't know. I can't remember if he's on the bench. Ah, yeah, of course he's on loan. He's on loan, isn't he? He never terminated his contract. No, because he's on the bench. No, 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 he's ours, I think. Yeah, he's ours. He's, he's, he's definitely he's on the bench. On, on loan, we brought So the, the remaining players on the bench. Is, right there, because he has got like a short term contract, doesn't he? That's yeah. The players on the bench, obviously, Carlos Lopez, Puga, Ramon, David Ferrero, Juanpi, Dione, Danny Sanchez, Murillo, and Arana Cho Maloney. He generally likes to change his fullbacks, doesn't he? A lot of games. Well, I, I, like is, those, like, clearly, I just clearly think we've made a mess. Here. I really just think we've made a mess. Yeah, yeah. but this is fucking atrocious. I mean, look, the rest space will be getting out wide now. And that's not Mo that's as Moose as a as a right center half. That's not his job to be way out there. Yeah, no, this is, this is just a this is just a compilation of Alfonso Herrero picking up the ball from crosses for the yeah. last ten minutes. It's, it's, it's like crazy. Alex has just confirmed yeah. there. David Odubia, a right winger, but the right side is open. So I don't understand it. <laughs> Makes no sense. Maybe, maybe a right. YouTube compilation of Alfonso. Here comes Ramon. Come on, Ramon. There we go. There we go. So he's putting Dione as a right fullback. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, we did, say, yeah. we did say earlier he's played oh, there. <laughs> Sangali's coming off. Sangali. Oh my God. He's... <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, no, no, he's, no, he's not, not coming off. No, no, no. Yeah, it's Danny Lorenzo. off as well. Come on, Ramon. Sergio really is messing with the record uh, of manager's mind. It doesn't We're safe, exactly. guys. Ramon's on. We've it won. doesn't matter about formation. We're on to 75 minutes. Alex Ashmore, can you hear us? Yes, I'm just trying to work out who's come off. I've seen it's David oh, LaRubia, it. and I couldn't quite work out who the other one is has come off. Um, um, Danny Danny Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Yeah, Danny Lorenzo. Yeah, Danny Lorenzo. Um, I don't want to spoil things, but oh, my oh, lord. Wow. Roberto almost made it 2 0. <laughs> Um, yes, nice. good to see Ramon back on. That was was that Roberto? It must no, no, have been yeah, yeah, yeah. Though. You're right, you're right. It was Larubia. So, Alex, in the last ten minutes, we've made those substitutions and we've looked terrible on the screen in front of us. <laughs> but um, how's it been in the stadium? Oh, yeah. Equally oh, terrible. Uh, I think great save. Great save. We. Yo, know, we haven't been creating anything apart from that chance we just had. I think Ramon and Dione coming on is a change we need because yeah, at the right-hand side, Musa has been fending for his life. To be fair, he can't do much more. <laughs> it's been completely open at the back. But it almost seems like now Musa's playing as a right-back and then you've got, I think, Nelson Monte and Juan Day at the centre-back and then Victor is playing as a left-back. So... I think we've gone to more of a back four now, which is good. And yes. Sangali, Manu Molina's moved a lot more forward. He's now playing as a sort of behind the striker even. And then Dione and Roberto up top with uh, Aviles yeah. on the left. Alex, uh, how come Roberto had to leave the pitch? Did you see it all? No. I mean, he's back on now and he seems to be running around fine. But I don't know whether it was uh, he was getting a sock change or a tape change yeah just but, looked a bit of confusion then yeah um but yeah he's back on he's not you know hobbling or anything so i think he's fine he's fit um but yeah i definitely think this move to a back four is a positive thing because down that right hand side they were you know they were tearing us apart they were getting in that yeah. left hand and the he crosses went. were coming in thick and fast it looks like he and... pushed the it looks like he's pushed Mano molina on more as it, well well, Manu Molina is now sort of playing even behind the uh, striker, really. He's he's still pushing back into the midfield, but he's definitely further forward than he was. 
and he's sitting across from uh, Sangali in the midfield and Ramon, who weirdly Ramon looks kind of unrecognisable with his little goatee. <laughs> <laughs> you really have got a good seat, Alex. <laughs> I have. It's I've my. You can always spot Ramon because of his ass. His ass. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, I, I think the move to the back four is a sensible thing as Malaga come on the attack here. I won't say anything. I know it's not always a thing in Spain, Alex, to announce attendances and stuff. I imagine they haven't at this game, but have they? No, as far as I concerned, I haven't heard anything, but they'll usually probably announce it in the next five or ten minutes. Um, unless what might happen sometimes happens is the press get told they get a, they hand out a little piece of paper, but. I haven't heard yeah. anything yet. That's weird. Fair enough. Well, please keep us posted, Mr. Ashmore, and we will remove you. Will do. Backstage. Feels so professional. Oh, if, but here comes a V. Could he have gone down there? Could he have gone down? He could have done, but we're, we're not in that business, are we? <laughs> Watching Roberto fly down in the box three or four times again. <laughs> yeah, swan diving. <laughs> Chef Kikuti style. <laughs> After that move, it. it does seem to have settled as more. Yes, it does. And it's the man on the ball at the minute that does that for me. It's just look how composed yeah. he looks. Yeah. And I, you know what? This The next 11 minutes of this live stream might just become the Ramon watch. Yeah. Um, because I, it, 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 it's the simplicity of it. And I know it sounds boring, but it's just like... He just does... The, oh, that's beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Give it, give it. Yeah. Why have you not? Why have you turned in a fucking circle there, Sangali? There's the opposite of what Ramon does. Overcomplicated, bloody. Let's do an entire fucking pirouette when you could have just played a lovely little three ball to Aviles. Why? The thing is, when we've got Ramon in there, I mean, I'm a, I am a Genaro fan, but it's just safe, Ramon. You know, he's going to look after the ball, but also he's not scared to try and play a, a number ten's kind of pass. No, absolutely. He's, he's, a, he's a luxury footballer, and, and he is. Uh, he is. Like that. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like, yeah, exactly. Genaro's not got that. Not many players have at this level. Go on, it's it, Ramon. No. Yeah, we're ready. Got yeah, foot on the ball. Well, 10 minutes left to go. Get your thoughts into the comments as well, how Malaga have played in the second half. What do you want to see in this last 10 minutes? Do Malaga need a goal to really put this to bed? Because I'm very nervous about uh, an Atletico Madrid B 90th minute equaliser right now. That's the one thing that's panicking me. It's like we said earlier as well. This is a huge three points regarding the playoff spot. I'm not saying it cements it. I mean, we, I, I fully believe we'd cemented it last week, but then you look at there's not that much of a gap between everybody. No, to be fair, and it surprised me as well, actually. Sort of like the gap. Um that I, I was like, oh well, there's 21 to play for. So, you know, it must be that it was confirmed, you know, a few a couple of weeks ago, but it's it really not. The fact that that eight point gap is now there, still to um Recativo Huelva, who I believe are also beating Castilla at the minute. Yeah, they are still one 0 then you know it, it makes us think like well actually bloody hell you know we've got we've now got two or three or four teams that are, are chasing the playoffs um with is it Real Murcia as well who got a win yesterday they've come out of absolutely nowhere too you know the, the team next that we weekend, against, uh, a home game against Real Murcia I think yeah, we yeah. That, I think we're there then yeah 100 percent I mean, for that last spe that last spot, it really is interesting. You've got Ceuta on fifty three, Recre on fifty two, and Murcia on fifty. Like that, that's going to go to the to the end. And that makes it exciting, though. To be fair, like say all those teams, because those are teams as well that you know. If you used to say to me, um, "Oh, that team's been promoted to Segunda," I go, "Actually, that's quite fucking cool." That. Yeah, Ceuta yeah, yeah. for where they are, for the way they play. Record. I mean, the other two are massive clubs, aren't they, really? Murcia yeah, right, right. big teams. You know, Real Murcia. Murcia being a you know, potential, yeah, or, or was going to be a potential uh, World Cup city with their yeah, big stadium. Is. So, I've been to Murcia a few times. I 
I think it's a good thing the World Cup's not going there. <laughs> <laughs> City, I love the, the stadium's out of Merthia, isn't it, Matt? Is it like next to the yeah, motorway? Yeah, it's, it's not, you know, not a million miles out, but it is. And it's like really distinctive. There's like literally nothing around it. It's just, it's a bit like when you see, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I'm about to compare it to the San Siro. Um, in that, like, you see, Ooh, just like, well, again. These, these could have scored three in the second half. They'd be the better team. I think they're 90 minutes. So, I think so, when certainly you think chance, about it, but in terms of chances, both teams have had, obviously their keeper, the keepers made two fantastic saves. These have missed at least three sitters. Yeah. Well, uh, well, more than that, I would say. Like, I mean, we, we, we're, talking, we're talking about these could have scored three or four, and effectively, Herrero's not had to make one save. No, Herrero no. didn't even die. I, I didn't really... Oh, nervy, nervy 10 minutes remaining. It, it just, it's just got something for me here. With They only need to get the one. Yeah. And they'll be happy with that. You know, that's the difference, isn't it? We just need to play a bit more sensible. We Kill time. On and would do that. So that is a great cross as well, to be fair. That is perfect. If you've seen uh, Alex's comment in the comments saying that if we win today, we just need nine points to secure a playoff. At three, most wins, three wins from six. We can do that. that. Yeah, but like I think he's added. Not that they were playing Real Murcia, Cordoba. Cordoba. <laughs> yeah, well, this, 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 this is why this is so important to win today. The Murcia game is massive. If we don't get three points today, somehow we don't beat Murcia and then Cordoba away, and then it's really squeaky bum time. Hmm. Spanish is for squeaky bum time. We have to look that up. <laughs> Muy caliente. I think. I think. I think. <laughs> no. Different sort of squeaky bum time, that. Because <laughs> squeaky bum time is a uh, is a uh, Alex Ferguson expression, guys. It? Right. So what, next time Victor's got the ball out there, there's a guy who's on the last row of the the stand. I think he's got a bump bag on, but the colours what he's got on, it looks like he's just stood there in a pair of speedos. Alex may confirm. It's like up by the. Well, it's it obviously it keeps moving. Next time the ball's over there, I'll try and point him out. Oh, but just keep the fucking ball. All right, two, three, kick. That's it. Just you kill time. Another yellow card. Yellow card out the back there. Uh, just a quick direct translate. Uh, squeaky bum time would be uh, tiempo quiarante. Tiempo quiarante. Tiempo quiarante. <laughs> Okay. But I imagine uh, the, the 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 idiom within Spain would be yeah. more. It'd be like Sorry. it wouldn't be squeaky oh, no, bum time. It, it would be the the grease of the arse is west <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. My, dog is, no, my dog is my dog is elegant. My dog is elegant. Even, <laughs> because even in English, it's a new idiom, isn't it? It's like park the bus. They're like new expressions. So I can yeah, imagine yeah. there's no. So what you've probably just said there, Nick, is probably what they use, actually, just because they've not found an equivalent yet. Well, I know on the Spanish um, football podcast, he sometimes talk, and I think there's an episode of it, actually, uh, where they speak about sort of like football sayings and like yeah, the yeah. traditional cliches and things like that, but how they say them in Spanish. And some some of them are literally direct to the point, direct translations and things like that. Yeah. But the other ones, some of them are like really weird um sayings you know like yeah i my spanish teacher teaches me them all the time and i never remember the idioms and shit the only one i always remember is soy una tumba which means I like am. you know my lips are sealed but literally translates as i am a tomb <laughs> <laughs> i think for anyone who can't see the comments alex has just put the fixtures in we've got real murthy at home cordoba away Merida at home san fernando away Antiquera at home and Castilla away. For me, you're nine points to your three home games there. Well, yeah, absolutely. Look, look at him calling it a Real Madrid Castilla as well. That's such a nerd. Such, <laughs> such a little Real Madrid bitch, isn't he? 
coming from an athletic <laughs> moment, 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 moment. I can see I can see him on the little screen on the backstage. <laughs> Give me the finger. <laughs> you know I don't mean it, Alex. They'll change your Twitter bio, please. <laughs> well, uh, next weekend I am in Morocco on a school trip, so I will miss the Mercedes. Oh, of course you're not there, are you? I'm going to try and do every single game after that. I think that's. I think Carl and Steve are over for that game, so we may yeah. have to rely on one of them to do. Or actually, could it be a points mean Patran in in Morocco potentially? I don't, I don't think so on a school trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sir, where are you going? I need to get some Patran. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like of what do you mean, you're going? It'll be more like it'll be more like student come here, right? <laughs> when I say <laughs> points <laughs> mean. <laughs> A teacher, a, a teacher fueling a pupil with alcohol. <laughs> it's like the in-betweeners all over again. No, it's, uh, <laughs> I think that it might be out of the question next week. <laughs> uh, post humorous points mean Patron, hopefully, in, in, in the tavern. Uh, last minute of uh, regular time uh, here. Oh, fuck, it is. We're up to 89. Just there can't be much in the time either, I don't think. There's not been many stoppages. I reckon four. <laughs> no, yeah. Five. I don't think it'd be a lot at all. Alex to just put, Steve Jackson, God help us if it's left to me and Carl. Well, we all know Carl can't do Patreon, so it's up to you, Steve. <laughs> it's up to Steve. <laughs> Alex, I don't know if you can... Obviously, you can hear us. I've had a picture from Frederick, who's normally... is always very popular in our comments, but... He's actually in the Malaga end as well. He sent a great okay. picture. I think he's pretty much behind the goal. I don't know if that's where your mum is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My immature brain just went like wild. <laughs> Frederick is currently chatting up Mrs. Ashmore. <laughs> I tell you what, for the, for the four minutes of added time here, let's put <laughs> to tell us about his new stepdad. <laughs> um, yes, four minutes added time. I don't know if it's come up on the screen yet. Um, Atleti on the attack. No, Sangali's got the ball here. It, it's weird. They seem to be pressuring us, and going forward, we seem to have absolutely no idea what we're doing. Yeah. I think, you know, understandably, I get nervous when everyone goes near Ramon because I don't want to injure him again. No, definitely. It, it seemed, the, for, the formation, the, the substitutions that Pace has done in this game have been slightly ridiculous, haven't they? Like, because it, it's completely right. changed the dynamic of the, of the team halfway through the match without any benefit. You know, if it was done like as a, as a tactical change that worked and did something different, but this just feels like we've put on a pitch for a kick around. Blood. Carl Smith, Carl Smith put a 2, a 2 p.m. patch around will be fine. What time do we kick off? Must be, must be a 12, must be a 12 o'clocker. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It's not stopped Alex, Alex. Um, Alex, Alex, as you're ahead of us, I'm personally watching your face right now. Just hoping, <laughs> I just don't want to see any changes. <laughs> Currently, Atleti have got a corner. Yeah, there's... More impressively as well, boys, um, 156 people oh, currently watching Ooh, swung in. us really? Goal kick. Here, uh, Spanish football side, which is just insane. So thank you very much for everyone who has tuned in uh, this afternoon to, uh, to join us and for your comments and for your interactions. You have been uh, amazing as always. Only two minutes left here. Goal the goal is up. Up. It's Live. a shame because we already know what's happening now <laughs> as Gomez comes up. Oh, I love a keeper up from the back. Why not? Shoot, Alfonso. Shoot. Alex, you think <laughs> on another day, this could have been a lot different sco uh, story with the chances that they've had or the chances we've had. I, I will, I'll be honest. If we play like this against Cordoba, we're going to get battered. Um, yeah. We've been yeah. average today and in front of goal created nothing. Apart from the goal, and defensively, we've looked open and weak as well. I dare I say we play against. Yeah, open. No, no, I like. disagree with that. I'd say we look open, but I'd say when it has come to our centre backs and stuff, we've actually defended pretty well. I think, apart from you know the 
you know, they, they have had their clear cut chances, but I, think it, it's, I it's do think a better a better attack scores more goals. Oh yeah, absolutely. I agree with that totally. But but I think the guys at the back have handled it as well as they could, considering they've just been I, I honestly Ferrari. just think those first changes effectively yeah. did this to us. I really, really don't understand. Me too. Absolutely. Not just because it was Kevin. Who who's more <laughs> effective? Who, who's Full more time. effective? Who's Three more points. effective in the game? Lauren Zuniga or Aviles? Oh God. You know Mate, what I mean? The the, the ball from like that part. Your favourite ugly child. Exactly, exactly. Absolutely no chance. Well, I'm going to stop my stream because uh, Alex has revealed to me that it's full time already. Oh, yeah, you don't. Know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry for anyone else who's watching it on FEF TV, but it is game over. <laughs> Malik with <laughs> a massive three points in the capital. Actually, um, Steve, are we talking about Lauren? Alex, is Lauren still nearby you? Can we get um, him in on the chat? <laughs> I imagine he's made a swift exit. <laughs> I think we got away with that. Absolutely awful, awful performance. Yeah, I think, in, uh, I think in, in these sort of crappy home draws we've had recently, I think we've at least shown a bit of like, oh, fuck, we're playing shit. Let's try and fight back a bit. But... Mm. Is the we've papered over no, the cracks recently, and that's uh, that's that's a gimme that one, uh, especially with the chances that they had. You know, we, we could have been generally talking about a 2 1 or a 3 1 loss here if they'd been yeah. more clinical, which is quite upsetting to say the least. So, uh, so yeah, is, guys, like, like we all know, like we all know, this point of the season, it's about getting the three, the three points that that is all what I care about. We should. Perhaps we should have a reminder as well that obviously the last time we played these guys, we were drawing 1-1 and they did take the glutiest of problems. Yeah, yeah, the keeper, yeah. To get the three points. So they, they've been a bit of a pain in the ass both times, actually. Who scored that goal? Galileo. <laughs> <laughs> Who did the iconic celebration in front of the Fonda floor? <laughs> Nelson Monte. Nelson Monte. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but no, well, like you say, you know, we, we can complain about the level of the football all we want. But, you know, the fact is we've got three points there. It puts us very much uh, within reaching difference, uh, reaching distance, sorry, of Cordoba in second. Um, and all eyes on to Castion now, who, it alludes me who they're playing right now. Well, I mean, uh, Granada Bay. Granada Bay, so. Granada Bay, all right. Yeah. Well, well, Alex, so you can obviously see... Right. Alex, you can obviously see the Malaga fans. Is there um, a lot of celebrating or is it sort of quite downbeat? Or, or yeah, like? I mean, I'll try and turn my camera around. Well, I don't know we can't, can't see, see Alex. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think, you know, Jovial, the fan, the players have gone over to celebrate with the fans. They're singing. Everyone seems to be quite happy. So I think probably more... More relieved than anything that we got. Alex, do we have a Una Hitana Loca? Una Hitana Loca. We do actually. They just started yeah. and they're bouncing yeah, up and down as we speak. No, it's the Ale 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 Alo. Forza Vagiri cast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose we best leave it at that. Uh, we will have the review show because I know everyone's going to want to listen to the review of this really? game um, coming out early on next week and they will also have a preview show because they will be back because everyone's back from holidays now uh at the end of next week previewing the game against real murcia next weekend uh alex ashmore thank you for your efforts this afternoon it's been great to have you inside the stadium once nice. again this unique new thank element you. of uh the giri cast uh, which is brilliant so thank you very much thank you very much vamos malaga i think we're getting gitana loca now yeah. Go on, Alex, do it. Go on, Alex. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. And just go and make sure that Frederick's not chatting up your mum as well. So thank you very much, Alex <laughs> thank you. in Madrid. Yeah, nice. uh, thank you very much, well. Matt Harrison, from his balcony in Marbella. It's a lovely, lovely sunset going on. Turn it round. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to do see that. that. Show me an industrial estate in Doncaster any day of the week. No, thank, uh, thank you. Guys, it's nice to be back for the first time in a long time. So great. 
Yes, absolutely. And I do hope you enjoy your Pacharan later. Or are, you, are, you, are you Pacharaning now or is that something else? Yeah, well, you know, I'll go up to the tavern. I haven't been to the tavern today. So, you know, if you like watching me consume fairly strong alcohol, at Matt Lost Bio on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Go and watch that later. Enjoy that. Thank you very much for joining us, Matt. And to Luke Chambers over in sunny old Yorkshire. Thank you very much for joining us as well. Thank you as always, mate. Loved it. A strange game, but the three points was huge. Thank you to every viewer. Vamos Malaga. Exactly. Tres puntos is the most important. A big game against Real Mercy next weekend, and we will be back for that. Thank you, everyone, for watching and listening at home. You've been fantastic, and we'll see you again soon. Vamos Malaga. Oh,